to get a picture of him. Yeah, baby, we're live. We are live. DJ Billy Ness is in the chat, my man, and in the hot tub. He's ready for the Father's Day stream. I got one more social media thing. I gotta, I gotta post on Discord. That's what I gotta do, and then and then we'll be ready to go. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> are you psyched for the stream, Dad? Oh yeah. This will be fun. We we took our show on the road. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to you. It's a uh, not Father's Day anymore, but you yeah. know we're still celebrating. We we celebrated in in person, you know, with the family on Sunday, which was the real Father's Day, yeah. and uh, the celebration continues today. Absolutely. So you know, last year we did on Father's Day, which was which was awesome, but um, you know, this year mixed it up a little bit. Tuesday is a good day to stream. It's one of my my favorite days to stream. Like dancing on that monitor. That's me yeah, dancing. <laughs> <laughs> that is me. Let's see if I can I'll, I'll put this in the Discord. All right. Uh, back to this. I gotta paste this in. Paste. I think I did it. I think that worked. There we go. Nice. So everyone should know that we're live now. Zach Weddington in the chat. My man Zach. Zach's gonna be coming to our our little brew haha. We're gonna have in a couple of weeks. Oh, good. Yeah, it's gonna be great. <laughs> July fifth or sixth, whatever. Yeah, mayhem, maybe. That is Anthony in the house. Anthony is is actually in the house as well because I'm sitting on his chair. No. <laughs> You've got two of them here. Yeah. And brother Bill is in the chat. Brother Bill, Anthony's brother. Oh, jeez. Wolf Dawn, what is up, my man? Captain John Archer of the Starship Enterprise, the original captain. Also an Amiga dad, and he's got an Amiga wife with him today. That is awesome. <laughs> you know, I don't want to say anything, but all we're seeing here is your friend Yuri sitting there naked in the in the fjord. Yeah, I think hey, I think it's time can to. We go to yeah, I think it's time. <laughs> I think it's time to go. I think well, so. We're gonna start. I normally start with a demo. Today we're gonna start with a little uh, Amiga promo, and it's the a promo that I used to watch. Uh, right down here in this basement, it was my. It got me psyched up to get the Amiga 500. This is the VHS tape that we had leading up to Christmas 1987, when uh, when I got my 500. This is what I used to watch to get me psyched up. And then and then after it's about two minutes long, and after that, we'll uh, there's a little surprise for the folks at home watching. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> so I'm gonna hit the button, and we're gonna we're gonna get this party started. I am the Commodore Amiga 500 home computer. Dazzling animation at your command. I am the Commodore Amiga 500, a multitasking home office in your hand. I am the Commodore Amiga 500, total home video you control, and arcade quality games in stereo. And now, you can be everything I am. You are about to step into a brave new world of power, performance, and productivity made possible by the new Commodore Amiga 500 home computer. Sit back and get set for the ride of your life. I am the Commodore Amiga 500. I am the ultimate home computer. So easy to use, with powers and abilities far beyond anything you may have ever experienced before. I am dazzling graphics and animation. A home office productivity wonder. I am extraordinary home video production and special effects. A versatile composer of thought as well as music. I am arcade quality games in stereo. A teacher of fact and a teller of tales. I am 512,000 bytes of pure power. Expandable to one full megabyte of internal memory. I am the mighty Motorola 68000 microprocessor. A built-in three and a half inch disk drive and a floating keyboard with 10 function keys and a numeric keypad. Versatile, easy to use menus and pull down windows make me adaptable to virtually every goal and aspect of your life. At the touch of a button, at the click of a mouse, I am yours to command and control at a price you can afford. I am everything you ever thought possible and impossible in a home computer. And now you can be everything that I am. I'm taking the hammer to you. Oh, 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 son of a bitch. It's coming back. There it is.
There it is. Hammer. Thank you for yeah. fixing the TV, Dad. Yeah. I appreciate it very, very much. Well, Those thank you for buying a TV that works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everyone? It is awesome. Wow. There are so many of my friends here today, Dad. That's a great group of people. You know, Anthony's in the chat. Anthony's brother's in the chat. I don't know why I can't scroll. There we go. Uh, Zach Weddington in the chat. Hi, uh, guys. Um, yo, Balto, yo, 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 what's up, my man? Fishbot, what's up, buddy? Great to see you, Fish. I, it's so weird. Like, all my, yo, Poetic Android with subscription. Thank you, Poetic. Guys, the show is on the road today. I'm on the road and uh, I'm at, in my dad's basement. So I'm like, it's so fun. I haven't streamed that in like a couple weeks. So I yeah. tend to like forget how to stream. <laughs> well, that's nice to hear now. <laughs> so, so, like, the fact that I forgot how to stream and then oh, no, I took the show on the road is kind of like, uh, like, wow. <laughs> He's oh. been setting up for two hours, but it looks like he got it all right. Hey, Mr. Cola, what's going on, dude? Air Yuri. Air Yuri's here in the chat. He's oh, watching. Air, Air Yuri it always starts out with Air Yuri in the hot tub. Air Yuri is building a new platform in the hot tub, so I think there's going to be a new intro coming soon. Oh, no. So I'm, I'm excited to see what he comes up with. Well, that, <laughs> it's going to be hard to top that one. <laughs> uh, one. DJ Billy Ness checking in from Greece. I got, I got the Greek stick here ready to go. This is, uh, this is a, we're gonna be playing with the Greek stick today. This is a joystick that my friends in Greece are making. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, it is just a gorgeous piece of gear. And uh, I'm a beta tester for it. So they sent me this original version to kind of like test it out and see what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it. And then okay. they would make any necessary changes. But so, I mean, it's the thing that's beautiful, saying how heavy this thing is. It looks beautiful. It's amazing, right? Oh my God, that's really heavy. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. It, like you break, you, as Grandpa and Winters would say, you, you drop that thing on your foot and you break it. You know, break your foot. You break your foot, you see, drop that thing. what happens when I push this yeah. button? <laughs> yeah, the Ace Man, the Ace Man might go off. I don't know. We're just sending the Ace Man on, on my real Amiga 1200 today. So we got some Ace Man mods going. You know, I love the Ace Man. Uh, yeah, Zach, that was that was digitized. So that that Amiga 500 video was digitized by our friend Theory Mazzolini, right oh. from Wog, who uh, who used your decks to digitize it. Very good. So that was he did a great job on that. Fish spot, my man. It looked very. I was surprised how good it looked. It Toa should've... Folkman's here. What's up, my man, Toa Folkman? Um, Oh, that's awesome. Anthony watched that video over the weekend. Of course he did. <laughs> oh, man. Who else is here? Dad Power, exactly. Poetic Android, thank you so much for that subscription, dude. I appreciate that so much. Um, Pixels at Dawn, no worries. I understand you got to run. Like, life happens. You know what I mean? It's all good. Amiga Love, exactly. Yo, Oogie Flip. What are, today, yeah, today, Twisted1981. Today, we're, today's just a chill-out stream, you know? Like, it was Father's Day the other day, and I want to just come here in the basement and hang out with my dad, so... We're just gonna hang out today and chat with you guys. I haven't streamed in a long time because I was on I was on an epic cross country adventure for work. So I haven't seen you guys in a long time. I haven't seen my dad in a long time. So no, it's just a chill out. We were all over. You were in Tennessee, oh, Pennsylvania Pen first. Yep. Then Tennessee. Yep. And then near LA somewhere. Yep, yep, LA. And then I was in the middle. I was also went to Texas right before that. Oh, that's another right. job. That's so right. and Florida right before that. Yeah. So it was, it's been a lot, a lot of travel. Twisted 1981. How's it going? Harry Longbone. What's up, my man? <laughs> oh man. Oh, Toe is loving this already. Um, oh yeah, brother Bill, brother Bill, Anthony's brother also went to Stepanak. Oh, yes, yeah, Stepanak, Stepanak High School. Rules. Yeah, <laughs> um, Sly Guy, badass, family Amiga stream, exactly. <laughs> it is built like a tank. Yo, what's up, Walker OGR? How's it going, my man? Yeah, you, <laughs> you can't run a train with a Greek stick. Yeah, so Sin Lao, what's up, buddy? Great to see you. Mr. Cole is waving to you, Dad. Mr. Cole is my friend from the Midwest. So you know how we, you know, Rob comes and we set up, we have our LAN parties here. We've been having it for a long time. Sure. We have like seven of us here. But Mr. Cole, he gets like a hundred people together at these LAN parties. It's, it's amazing. I want to get out there for one. Yeah, where is it? Uh, he's in the Midwest. I think he's in, um, he's in, he's either in Missouri or Michigan. I can't, he's, either, he's like, he's from one, lives in the other. But close yeah, enough. Close to Chicago, <laughs> St. Louis area, so it's not too far. It's like a two hour flight from here. Um, Yes, the, the, the Athens Vintage Computer Society says hello to you, Dad. Hi, guys. Uh, yes, Zach, yeah, AmigaVideo.net. Thank you, thank you for dropping down the link, Zach. Domagas, how's it going, dude? Great to see you, Domagas. Keep up the great work on all your streams. Uh, Roar, what's up, Roar? Great to see you too, my man. Uh, so yeah, there's lots of people from all over the world. We got, we got like Finland in the house, we got Norway here, USA, I'm sure the UK is here. We got Greece here, all, I think Sweden is here. Is it Sweden or Switzerland? I'm not sure where Domagas is from. Um, Bill, could your dad say, oh, my friend Harry Longbone. 
would like you to say his name. Harry Longbone. Harry Harry Longbone. <laughs> yes. Great name. Yeah, some of some of these uh, That'd names. Be a great name for a DJ. Or something. Yeah, yeah. Some of these names that everyone comes up with is, is hilarious. Mine's just like simple, like a Mia Bell. Yeah. Like, yeah. Harry Longbone. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> I'm not gonna touch it. <laughs> no. NJ seventy six seventy six. What's going on? Oh yeah. So Mr. Cole's in Michigan, right? Michigan. Yeah, from okay. the Chicago suburbs. Um, nice. Roar says you seem very happy. Yeah, yeah, he is. He's a happy guy. I am. Happy. Yeah. Um, What's not to be happy about? Uh, Amiga Israf, how's it going, my man? Uh, Denmark. Oh, NJ is from Denmark. Nice, dude. What's that dancing fool doing in there in our picture? Uh, oh no, wait. DVD man 007. <laughs> Just subscribe. So uh, Twitch is a funny thing, right? So. On, you can have people that follow you, and when they follow you, um, they just get a notification like when you when you go live, and then they can talk to you in the chat. Yeah. But then it's got this other thing called subscriptions, which is someone can subscribe to you, and it costs them five dollars a month, and then I get two dollars and fifty cents a month, and Amazon gets two dollars and fifty cents a month. But it's just a nice it's a nice way for people to say thanks, we we enjoy your entertainment, which is pretty crazy because like I'm, I'm really a behind the camera kind of guy. Okay. Oogie Flip yeah. just subscribed. Th again, so that's the notification that's that somebody's subscribing. Just subscribed, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And the thing that's funny is that like I don't, you know, I do this, these streams just for fun and to like hang out with my friends. So I never like there's no pressure for anyone to ever subscribe. I was like, you don't have to pay to watch me. <laughs> Who would? <laughs> no. <laughs> Apparently, some folks do. <laughs> but so, like, I use it. So, what I do is, like, my friends who are coming here soon, the Amigos, they're a podcast based um, in West Virginia. They do this fundraiser every year to, to help kids with, like, terminal illness and cancer and stuff. So, I donate, I donate my proceeds to their charity. So, we're going to be doing that again soon in June, which I'm going to show you guys. Amiga Live, what's up, Amiga Live? Checking in from Canada. Amiga Live is amazing. Uh, he, um, he made the service that allows you to play online multiplayer media games through the internet. It's crazy. So you can play like head to head media games uh, over uh, over the internet. It's incredible. I think I hope the mix is all right, guys. I'm not. I don't have my headphones on, and uh, like I said, the show's on the road, so I don't have all my tools, my usual tools here. It sounds pretty good. Maybe the music's a little low. That's all right. It's it's about it's about it's, the Ace Man is uh, in the background. I uh, see. I'm sorry. I hope the other thing is tricky. Is I'm trying to read all the chat fast. Normally I have the chat like on a big screen here, yeah. and now I have it on this little screen. Uh, so it's, I have to like look like this. Um, uh, Sly guy, badass is from the UK. You need, you need um, these magnifiers. Yeah, right. Uh, Amiga Asrif is from Turkey. Oh, nice. Turkey. Ninja DNA is from Denmark. I know Amiga Live is from Canada. Um, Skyzoo73 from Italy. Nice, nice. We got my roots there. Ciao, Italy. Ciao. <laughs> uh, Harry Longbone says thanks. Thanks for saying his name. <laughs> uh, Captain John Archer, of course, from Germany. Captain John doing God's work. He's got two awesome sons that he's raising. He's raising them properly, starting them off with Amiga. Roar's got some daughters. He's got them hooked on the Amiga too. Good. So you know, when we're when we're dust and bones, at least the, the youth can carry on, <laughs> keep the Amiga alive. You know. <laughs> well, I'm a lot closer to that than you are. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, nice, uh, Miss DK from Denmark. I would love. To, I've never been to Denmark. I, I would love to go to, to Denmark. I mean, all your travels, you haven't been. I've to been Denmark? to Denmark. I, I haven't been to like Northern Europe. It's like the only spot I've been in Northern Europe is like Iceland. But yeah, other, well, I, yeah, but I haven't. I haven't uh, really explored like Switzerland. Well, I've been to Switzerland once, but like Sweden, you know, all the North yeah. countries. Yeah. I haven't been there much. But I have a lot of friends there, so I got to get there. Uh, I'm, am I getting a Vampire 1200? I might. I want to get the standalone Vampire, you know? DVD man, thank you so much for that subscription, dude. Jamie Morgan Just Games. What's up, buddy? Great to see you. <laughs> oh, thanks, Roar. Um, Uji Flip, thank you so much for the subscription. I, see, I don't know if I saw the notification there. I don't want to, like, miss anyone. But Uji yeah. Flip, thank you for the subscription, dude. I appreciate that so much. Fishbot is back. Nice. Um, yeah, I'm happy. I'm a happy guy, too. Um, Svinto, oh, what's up, Svinto777? He's uh, he's from Sweden. See, I've never been to Sweden either. I've been Switzerland. I've been to Switzerland, but not Sweden. The sound is perfect. Thank you. Mix is tight. Nice, dude. Uh, thanks, thanks, Miss DK. <laughs> sound is great. Thanks, Zach. Retro Red Rum, nice. He's in Canada physically in France. And sorry, Retro Red Rum is Jeremy. You remember Jeremy? He's okay, been here. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, and he's also he started a new company called Double Sided Games, and he's making new Amiga games and new Commodore 64 games. It's he's mm -hmm. awesome. Jeremy, you rock, mm -hmm. dude. Jeremy, I know he was sick. He was like he was in the hospital with the flu or something. Jeremy, healing vibes to you, my man. I hope all is well. Um, we might have another little brew ha ha here in a couple of weeks. I know it's a far trip for you, but you're always invited. You know that, my man. 3D Code Warriors here. How's it going, my man? <laughs> a lot of people are here. 
Oh, man. Ah, Miss DK said, if I come to Denmark and I feel lonely, I can touch uh, her Commodore 64 and make it 1200. <laughs> it make me feel like home. <laughs> I do have to come to the Nordic country, uh, Roar, exactly. Jamie Morgan in the house. All right, so... Um, Oh, nice. Yeah, Domagas is going to hook up two Amigas with the Null Modem for some good Lotus 2 multiplayer. We used to do a lot of Null Modem here. Remember, Chris and Pat would hook their computer. Oh, yeah. We'd hook up All to two computers. Time. I think we played Falcon, F16 Falcon. That was a good one. <laughs> that was a good multiplayer. Uh, but Lotus 2, that's, that would be a great multiplayer Null Modem. Maybe we should do that for our next party. That's awesome. Miss DK is, is, is uh, throwing down some, some rad letters. I don't know what she's saying, but she's speaking uh, in her native tongue. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. I would love to get the Vampire Uji. I might get a standalone, we'll see. Let me take a sip here and, you know. So today, guys, this is, yo, 3D Code Warrior with the resubscription. Thank you, 3D Code Warrior. That is too kind. Thank you so much. Uh, it's cool, because I can today I can drink out of a green container. Because normally I'm in front of a green screen, so the container disappears when I have... <laughs> But because there's no green screen today and we're just hanging out in the basement, I can, I can do this. <laughs> So I don't know that, I, the basic plan is that, I, I, it was my birthday not too long ago as well, and yours as well. Mine and uh, What I, a week. Starts with my birthday, yeah. three days later is your birthday, four days later is Father's Day, and we're still celebrating. Yeah, why, why <laughs> we not? We haven't stopped yet. <laughs> Jost80, Amiga for sure, yeah. thank you for the subscription, Jost. <laughs> thank you so much, my man. It's awesome to have you here, Jost. It's cool because a lot of these uh, folks come into the streams often, and then we're in the Discord channel, which is like a chat service, and then they're on Twitter, and they're on Facebook, so I get to keep in touch with them when I'm not streaming, and like I become good friends with a lot of them. It's pretty wow. rad. Yo, Razor XG throwing down the resub, wow. That is awesome. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Amiton TV checking in from the Canary Islands, man. Canary Islands. Yeah, I want to go there. Amiga Paradise in Tenerife. Really? Yeah, we got to go visit Johnny. And I think we might play one of Johnny. Johnny makes games. All the people who are in the chat make games. And Johnny uh, made a new game called Coco Banana. And I haven't tried it yet, but I've got it. I've got it here on the 1200 ready to go, sort of. I haven't tried it. I hope it runs. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll play some Coco Banana. Um, that'd, be, that'd be really cool. Um, oh yeah, Mr. Cole, you love seeing all the hardware in the background. Um, do, so what we'll do, guys, here's what we'll do. I will, we'll do like, I'll show my dad some of the pickups that I got, you know, and then uh, we'll play some games, a couple games, and then, uh, and then we'll, you know, we'll do a tour of the basement. Oh boy. Uh, so I, like, I would say today, we're, well, I'm, it's not gonna be a long stream, it's only gonna be about two, two and a half hours because you have to get to the movies, you got a yep. date with mom, yep. excellent. <laughs> a Tuesday night slash Wednesday night movie night. Tuesday because... night slash Wednesday until you see a lot of good movies. Well, and... there's, a, there's a movie playing that I'm interested in. It, it's set in the 1960s, it's a documentary, it's not, you know, actors. And it's all about this area of near LA called Laurel Canyon. And apparently, a lot of rock stars at that from that era lived in Laurel Canyon and created a lot of great classic, you know, music from the '60s. So, this is a documentary all about. Uh, it's called Echoes from the Canyon. Nice. And uh, I'm curious to see it. I don't know. I, I don't know who they all are. I know the the Birds are some of them. The Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young were there. A uh, whole bunch of different people. That was awesome. So I want to. Uh, I want to see what that's all about. That's so, where you're going to see it. So that's what we're going to, we're going to see it at Cinema One. Oh, okay, the Arts Theater. Yeah, nice. the Arts Theater. Yeah. Documentaries are hot right now. I was just shooting two of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's hope so. Um, yay, Stewie's, what's up, my man? Um, yeah, we're still celebrating, Roar. Um, oh, yeah, a lot of chip ram on the cocoa. I got, I got chip. We're good, Uji. We'll be all right. Um, Yes. Yeah, my dad does collect vinyl, Mr. Cola. He sure does. <laughs> <laughs> turn your camera around and show him the vinyl back then. <laughs> um, Razor is in a hotel room in Bonn, Germany, watching the stream with his mobile phone, but mirrored it to the smart TV in the room. That's mm -hmm. pretty cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool, Razor. If you if you get a chance, I don't know if you can do all three at the same time, but get a picture, man. Get a picture and send it to me. That'd be really cool. <laughs> uh, exactly, Roar. Yeah, he says you got to keep going on the dates, keeping the romantic flame alive. And then I got my wife is gonna be celebrating her end of school and I haven't seen her in weeks because I've been traveling so mm. I gotta hang out with with wife device as we call her <laughs> <laughs> the tonight okay. um, oh yeah and uh, Anthony wants to see some of your new trains yeah so my dad is into collecting trains vinyl vintage audio gear um, what else oh I gotta show you uh, I'll be right back oh you got the microphone on don't forget oh yeah don't yep take it take that with you take it with me 
Um, yeah, so I, my dad's already giving us a little tour, and we'll, what I'll do is I'll take the camera and I'll go mobile. Um, right now I kind of got set up and nice. We'll play a couple games and do a little show and tell, and then we'll go mobile. Uh, where's it going back there? I'm coming up. And now you guys notice those two CRTs back there? Yep, those, those are two Amiga 1000s there with CRTs on them. Um, I got a 10A4 on one of them, and the 10A4S and the 10A4 on the other one, I think. I got a lot of CRTs around here, so I forget which ones I left there. <laughs> oh, look at this. Whoa. This is beautiful. This is a piece of art. That is it's awesome. It's a wooden steam engine. Yo, 3D Code Warrior throw, 3D Code Warrior just gave us a tip for 512 bits. Thank you, 3D Code Warrior. <laughs> Dad, do you want to put it over here? We can do the overhead cam. Wow, this yeah, is... Okay, right. I mean, they can see it pretty I'm well. I'm going to take off the track here. Okay, they, they can see it pretty well here. Yeah. Um, Indie Retro News, what is up, man? Indie Retro News is an amazing guy. He does, has this blog called Indie Retro News, and he always uh, has all, like, there's so much going on in the retro community, like Amiga, Commodore 64, Atari, yeah. and he posts um, all, the, all the news on his blog, and that's how, that's how I find out about the news. Normally, I do like, a little news section, and I take a lot of stuff from Indie Retro News and tell, spread, spread the news to the folks, because I'm not really a news guy, I just kind of talk about it. <laughs> but today, today because of the setup, I'm limited. I don't have my full-blown PC here. Yeah. So we're just going to, we're not going to do the news today. I'll, 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 I will I will give some more, well, we'll do a little news. I guess a little news I can give you. But for the most part, because I, 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 you know, I, I navigate on the site and I show them like, oh, here's Indie Retro News site, here's the article, and then like he'll post a link to what he's talking about and I'll click on the link. But I don't have my PC here today. So instead, mm -hmm. instead we'll look at some trains. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> well, look at this train. I officially uh, retired December 31st, but I'm unofficially still working. So uh, I taught three classes last semester. I'm going to teach a couple more this fall. But the department held a little luncheon for me back in early May, end of April, and they presented me with this. This is um, a wooden steam engine, and of course the the tender that goes with it. That's awesome. I can and hold it here, so maybe it'll be easier for me to see it. Yeah, that's beautiful. Oh, it's of gorgeous. course, it's out of focus because I'm gonna move them too close to the camera. But yeah, yeah, well, check it out, Dad. So as I told you, I have different scenes here. Yep. So I can go to the, watch this. The overhead cam. Go to the overhead cam. All right. And then and now they can get a good good look at it. See. Yeah. This is this is a webcam. It's got autofocus. Yeah, okay. <laughs> My big camera doesn't have autofocus. That is, I mean, that's a beauty. That's a work of art. That, that is amazing that that uh, they thought of that as a you know instead of a gold watch, <laughs> they gave me a wooden train, which is. For me, better. That's than way gold. better. That is way yeah, better. Oh, way better. Because it's very personal. Uh, because they know I love trains. And I love model trains. I love real trains. I love everything about trains. So there it is. I'm still trying to figure out a place of prominence to display this. So for right now, it'll stay down here in the basement. Um, because I'm here every day. This is where I do everything. Read papers and... Uh, do my music. You can probably see. Can you see it in the background? No, you can't actually see the music rack. We'll right get there. there. We'll get to the music yeah, rack. Yeah. The music. But can, well, congrats on your retirement, even though it's kind of only a quasi retirement. Yeah, semi, semi retirement. <laughs> you can't not teach anymore. <laughs> you're gonna teach. You're gonna. You're gonna teach right to the finish line. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Don't, have, don't have to carry me out. Boots first. Miss <laughs> um, DK has got a question for me. She's saying that I retro write any of my machines because she's probably noticing. Wait, let's go to the overhead cam here, full screen. Uh, she's probably noticing how beautiful this Amiga 1200 looks. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, a um, problem with a lot of the old retro computers uh, is that they start to turn yellow over time. And it's because they have this bromine, like this flame retardant material in them. Mm -hmm. So what people c came up with is this, this cockamamie thing where you can, <laughs> you actually use a sort of a sort of bleach and it can bring it back to its uh, original color. Okay. The, problem, the problem with that is that it doesn't, it doesn't last. Um, like it, it lasts for a while, but then it kind of goes back to the yellow state because the bromine's still in it. And then they also say it can weaken the plastic a little bit. Well, that's not so, no, so Miss DK, so to answer your question, this, this 1200 has not been retro brighted, but I've done some retro brighting on some, some key caps. Um, so, and it, it, it did work pretty well. They haven't turned yellow, back yellow yet, but I've, I haven't done much retro brighting at all, just that, that one. Uh, but this, this Amiga 1200 and all my Amigas have not been retro brighted. I think the yellow gives a little bit of patina. <laughs> oh, I think I think the song might be a little loud because I can hear. It. See the one that with the mod files. Sometimes they don't. They're, they're all like different volumes. So I'm gonna take it down a little bit. There we go. Um, I still hear it pretty loud. Well, listen, listen to the mix. Yep. Tell me, tell me how the mix is. Um, well, it's okay, brother Bill. Okay, no problem, brother Bill. Go to work, my man. 
Oh, and Indie Retro News says that, that you should be proud that I, because I'm awesome. <laughs> I'm proud because he's awesome, Indie Retro News. <laughs> uh, 3D Code Warrior, show love 512, fantastic stream, thank you. Oh, yeah, he, uh, 3D Code Warrior, thank you for those bits. I appreciate that so much. He just donated 7.5 euros, which is pretty, that's a lot of money, dude. Thank you. Euros go, go far here in the USA. Thank you, 3D Code Warrior. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lots of CRTs, guys, you know it. Uh, yeah, we got a lot, and we do, you're right. <laughs> that is beautiful. real art and craft, exactly, right? They like your train, Dad. Yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, I, I look at it every day because it, they're all handmade. They're hey, what's up, Schumel 1976 great to see you. Oh yeah, that's right, there's a famous Amiga pinball game that's got a train in it, which I should, we should, that's, that would be a good one to play with you. Yeah. That'd be a good one to play with you. Um, the Flying Scotsman is a nice steam train too, says oh, Fishbot. Yeah. Do you know that one? One of the originals, yeah. Nice. Um, <laughs> Harry Melongo says no news is, is good news for him. <laughs> I'm with him. <laughs> uh, Fly guy says, wood and steam don't mix. <laughs> well, we, we won't operate it. <laughs> uh, that is a real word. Yeah, it is very shiny, Stewie's. You're right. Uh, Indie Retro loves the train. Um, Brother Bill's interested in new stuff for the VIC-20. I'm not a VIC-20 guy. I don't have, I never, that's one machine I never had, a VIC-20. No, we never had a VIC-20. We, we started with the Atari 8-bit, but no, no VIC-20. Um, yeah, Anthony says it's a way better than a watch, that retirement gift. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> It is really nicely made. Um, yeah, uh, Anthony says you'll need a pocket watch to complete your conductor outfit anyway. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'll keep the train oh, in the shot for a while. Yeah, Brother Bill says you live in a good spot to be a train buff. There's lots of stuff to do here. Oh, yeah. Um, in fact, next week, Mom and I are heading up to Massachusetts with our train group. We belong to a train group, and every year we have a week-long convention somewhere in the United States. I don't think they've done one overseas yet. And they have all these events planned. We ride all these different trains, go visit museums, visit people's homes to see the layouts that they have and all of that. So I'm really That's looking Amiga. forward. That'll be fun. I'm looking forward. Oh, um, Amiga Live says, uh, have I played the game A-Train on Amiga? And I haven't, and I, that sounds like one. I, I, it's funny, I remember the, the name, like A-Train, but I never played that game. So I thought, well, the for, the next train, for the next stream, we're going to have to do that. OK. The A-Train is famous because uh, when I was a young boy growing up living in Manhattan, the A-Train was the stop. You know, It was the beginning stop for the A-Train. And the A-Train is the longest run in New York City. Um, it's above ground and underground, and it goes from the upper tip of Manhattan all the way down Manhattan, and then it crosses under the East River and goes out, ends up out in Brooklyn, out in the Rockaways. I think it's like a two and a half hour trip, and pretty good. Pretty well, yeah, good the ride. A train. I used to take the A train a lot to, when I had to go oh, yeah. on the west side of Manhattan. Oh, but there's I, some good questions here. Uh, Indie Retro News is saying, uh, how much interest does your ha dad have in the Amiga? Did you grow up with your dad playing the Amiga? Uh, and then. Uh, at Johnny I'm from Amiton TV saying, did uh, your dad introduce you to computers and what system? Well, this is so good. yeah, so he, you sure did. Like, right here in this basement, you got me the Clico Telstar Arcade, which was the first one. It, it was, I, actually I can probably go get it. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and it's a triangular system uh, that has three games on it. It was from 1977, I believe. It had Pong, it had uh, a, a shooting game with a little guy that goes across the screen, you have to shoot yeah, him. I remember. And it had a uh, driving game. Yep. So that was like, so he bought me that. And then the first computer he ever bought for me was the Atari 800, yep. J Minor, <laughs> Joe DeCare. <laughs> that was a great computer for, you know, for its time. Speaking, hold on, I made this, well, you know, instead of just, I have, I do have an Atari 800 device here. This is one of my pickups, Dad. Okay. Um, so to answer your question, guys, yes, my dad, my dad did introduce me to computers and he was into Amiga. He kind of did Amiga through me, but he helped me yeah. run Westchester Amiga user group because I was too young to even drive there when I was running it. So he would drive me to all the meetings and he was definitely up on all the Amiga stuff, but he didn't he, he didn't sit the Amiga by himself that often. He kind of we did it together, you know right. what I mean? Right. So check this out. So that like a lot of the disk drives are failing these days um, and now we have USB technology and micro, you know, micro SD card, like high capacity, these little cards and SD cards. Uh, and what? so no more cassettes that you put in the cassette loader? <laughs> no more. You, well, at Vintage Computer Festival, you can still do it. But this is a really cool device that my friend Bill, who you've met, Bill from uh, New Jersey, made for me, Bill Lang. Okay. Um, he was part of the exhibit this year that we did for the J Minor tribute. This is a little uh, Arduino inside here. 
and this plugs into the floppy drive on the Atari 800. Wow. And it's got, he's basically got every single Atari 800 game ever loaded on here. Whoa. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and, and I don't have it plugged into an 800 right now, but you turn it on, there's a nice uh, LCD screen and you can like choose the game that you want to play and, and you're off and running. Uh, so it's pretty cool. This thing is awesome. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, so that's one of the, that's on the to-do list. I got to plug this into my 800 XL and, uh, and get it fired up. So. I think, I think, was it called Asteroids on the Amiga 800 or was Atari it called? The 800. Yeah, we had Asteroids, a great Asteroids. Yeah, that, was, that was, I think, my favorite game, along with Frogger, was one of my favorite games. Oh, yeah. Remember, then. they had Preppy. Yeah, Preppy. Preppy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was their, their Frogger clone. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then we had, um, you, I think you also liked Star Raiders. Yes. Yes, those are all early games. And, of course, I love watching you play Star League Baseball. That was awesome, yeah, Star League <laughs> Which Baseball. Which was a classic. I think uh, we're, we're going to have to do an Atari 800 stream. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, you know, I didn't, I didn't cheat with an Amiga 1200 netcase. This is an original one. Um, Harry Longbone, you'll see. We're going to play a, a few different games. Um, retro Recipes discovered that you can retrobite by leaving it in the sun for about a week. Oh, interesting. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I hope it doesn't rain. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, incredible woodwork, right? Um, no, uh, Captain John, my dad didn't make that train. He got it as a gift for his retirement party. Nope. Yep. Um, <laughs> Indie Retro News says, when is your dad going to have his own Twitch train uh, stream? <laughs> so we're, Indie Retro, we're going to have to do that. He just got a new game. Uh, thanks to Anthony, my, you know, Anthony, my oh, buddy. Oh, yeah, thanks for tipping us off. I, uh, That's an awesome game. I was practicing the other day driving from uh, the Hellgate Bridge down into Penn Station. We, uh, he, he, <laughs> he, he plays Train Simulator uh, on his PC. So we're going to have to do a Train Simulator strain, uh, stream as well. Um, let's see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Brother Bill, if you send the links uh, for A-Train, that'd be awesome, Brother Bill. Thank you so much. Um, oh, and Anthony says they have a murder, murder mystery train down by him in Florida. <laughs> that'd be cool. <laughs> I've never done that. I've been on a lot of dinner trains, but um, not the murder mystery one. Uh, let's, signing signing to's app. Do you remember Grand Central Station? Well, we go to Grand Central Station, the real Grand Central Station, very, very often. Oh. <laughs> I, this was like my second home. I don't know if you mean that there's a video game called Grand Central Station, but oh, we, uh, I don't know, maybe that's what he's asking. But we have uh, we have the real Grand Central Station just a couple minutes away from here. Um, Acma Finn, what's up, dude? Great to see you, Acma Finn. Um, Acma Finn is Air Yuri's partner in crime. Okay. <laughs> uh, they make games together. Um, yeah, exactly. Anthony said that uh, you used to take me to Westchester Media User Group, and we used to have the graphics sit here in this house, right, right there, yeah. uh, right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I'm a Torski. What's up, dude? Nice to see you. Great to have you. Your Commodore disc still work? Nice, dude. Nice. That's a nice Atari kit, right? When are we gonna see Atari Bill? Soon, soon, Mr. Cola. <laughs> um, Oh, nice. Indy Retro says when he was growing up, uh, he used to play Green Beret and Dragon's Lighter with his dad. Um, yeah, together, Star League Baseball, we'd play together. Because you'd, you'd be like, watch and coach me. I learned, I learned how to play baseball on my Intellivision. Because yeah. I learned what all the positions were by playing the Intellivision baseball game. So that, that, you taught me how to do that. And we'd also play Intellivision horse racing together a lot. Well, that was another good one, yeah. Well, um, I certainly didn't teach you baseball, because uh, when I coached baseball in Little League, uh, they made me the manager because uh, I kind of knew where first base was. But other than that, that's about that's about all I knew about baseball. You knew more than that. Come on, you watch the Yankees like every. You watch like 162 Yankee games a year. I you know? do. I watch, <laughs> I watch a lot of Yankees. Oh, Indy Retro News says a great train game for me. It's called uh, Trans Artica from the creators of the Ishtar series. Oh, thank you, Indy Retro News. So we got a couple of good train games that we have to check out. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, Indy Retro. That's Antarctica. awesome. Antarctica. I can't imagine what the trains are like down there. Uh, Richard, what's up, Richard? Love to you, my man. Great to see you. Um, yeah, Poetic, definitely. If you want to throw the link to the RetroWrite video, go for it. Um, uh, Singin says, uh, it's now always been called Grand Central Terminal, which nobody remembers. There's no Grand Central Station. So it actually, it started off, let me see if I have the history right. Uh, the actual name now is Grand Central Terminal, okay. but nobody uses the terminal. Everybody just says Grand Central. Oh. But there was a Grand Central Depot that started it, and then they changed it. When they remodeled it, they added two floors on, so they called it Grand Central Station. Huh. And then when they built the new one, which was 1913, the current one, then they called it Grand Central Terminal. But everybody just calls it Grand Central. They don't actually... 
I didn't know that. Yeah. I never even thought about Grand Central Terminal versus Grand Central Station. Yeah. I didn't even know there's a difference. Yeah. So I learned something there today. There was the <laughs> depot, the station, and then the terminal. Oh, if wow. I, if I got it right. Well, I know the terminal is the current one. That's pretty cool. Whenever I hear train depot, I think of uh, the restaurant we go to oh, and yeah. where we drink a lot of beers. Yeah. <laughs> there's a restaurant Coast on the train tracks called the depot, and we hang out there and drink a lot of beers. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> uh, hey, what's up, Richard? Good to see you again. Uh, Sin Lao says he had the Google horse racing games. I remember playing one on the Commodore 64. The horse racing game on the television was great. It was a good game. Speaking yeah. of games, maybe we should start playing something soon. Yeah, go ahead. Let's see what, what time you got. Is it? It's 3.30. Yeah, we'll play some games. Um, what did I, what did I, so let's switch over to, uh, to my Amiga and webcams here. Move this train out of your way. It's a nice train. It, oh, it's, it's gorgeous. One less. Oh, you already got me off. Okay. Oh, no, you're still there. You're still in the upper right corner. Oh, so. there I am. <laughs> one last look. Uh, it's beautifully finished, beautifully done. I'm happy with that. Nice, nice, Richard. Kenny, I don't, damage. I never. I don't have that game, unfortunately. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, Pierre. Pierre says happy Father's hey, Day. Pierre, how you doing? Well, happy Father's Day to you, Pierre, and uh, happy anniversary. Pierre is celebrating a wedding anniversary today. Very good. Yeah. So happy anniversary to you, Pierre. Um, we might have a little brouhaha here soon in like a couple weeks, so hopefully you can make it. Um, oh wow, Sin Lao's got a box, a boxed copy of the A-Train game. Oh. Um, what platform is that on? A-Train is the Amiga. It, it, it's on yeah, the Amiga. that's what it sounds like. Yeah, I don't, I don't yeah. remember seeing that or hearing about it. I don't know. I don't know that one, Kenny. I have to. Uh, yeah, I have, I have to. Do a little research on that one. Yeah. Um, so I guess you know. So there's. Let's see. What was I? Gonna, I now. I, oh yeah, we were gonna do some some Amiga pickups, but um, which will. Well, let me show you these two pickups real quick, and then uh, and then I'll, we'll maybe play some Coco Banana Johnny's game since he's here in the chat. Mm -hmm. But this this. Uh, so as you said before, it's my birthday. Well, I'll show you guys real quick. Um, and you got me this amazing. This is Another World classic Amiga game. Uh, it was called Out of This World here in the USA. It was Another World in, uh, in Europe and I think everywhere else. It is uh, the soundtrack to Another World and it comes on this like amazing, check this out, this is so cool. Side A is like the hero and then side B is, uh, is your buddy. And it's this amazing Workbench 1.3 blue vinyl. How rad is this? I mean, is that awesome or what? <laughs> That's great. That's great. <laughs> that is just that is beautiful, right? Let's let's get an overhead look at this. Um, I, yeah, I, I just I love this man. This just looks so cool. I love vinyl. We got a record player right over there, so maybe right, sitting may right there, plugged in, ready to go. Yeah, maybe we'll play it. Maybe we'll play it later. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. We'll, we'll end the stream. We'll play the record. And this thing is thick too. So there's different thicknesses of vinyl. And this is the 180 gram vinyl. I mean, this thing is super. I feel this. That, yeah, that's pretty much the standard weight for the what they call the high quality vinyl. Okay. I don't know that it. I would presume it should last longer, you know, than regular vinyl. Right. Um, but it doesn't bend at all. Like regular vinyl, you can. Yeah. If you just bend it a little bit, it'll bend. Because most this of most doesn't... of my records that I have in my collection are not this thick. No. Yeah. Oh, no. I have like a couple special Pink Floyd ones and stuff that are. Mm -hmm that are well made um, yeah. and thick, but most of them are much thinner than this. Yeah. So this is super, super cool. Uh, this is like, a, I'm afraid to play it though, because I know it's analog, right? So I'm, I, I don't know, but you know. Every time you play it, you wear it out. A little <laughs> bit, right? <laughs> That's the problem. And then it also came uh, with, a, with a CD as well. If, oh. you, don't have, if you don't have a, uh, a record player, it came uh, with a cool CD with some really beautiful artwork on it. So That's I've probably, already converted this to MP3s to listen to my car. <laughs> That's probably the one you can play a lot. You probably don't want to play your vinyl all the time. Although, I love listening to vinyl. Singing to Siap. Sorry, sometimes it's hard for me to read the names, but yeah. he just followed me. Thank you for the follow, dude. I appreciate that so much. Mm -hmm. I, um, I stream Amiga stuff about once a week here. You never know when I'm going to stream because my job always changes. <laughs> yeah, so like, sure. trying to know when I stream is um, is a bit of a game itself. <laughs> yeah. So that, that was a really cool pickup. And then the other pickup that I got uh, while I was away, um, my last stream, which was a few weeks ago now because I said I've been traveling, I got Reshooter, the physical edition of Reshooter, the game that uh, I will premiere a couple weeks ago. We had the guys on. We had the... Um, the, the, uh, we had Richard, the programmer, we had Martin, the, uh, the music man, <laughs> the composer, and Kevin, who did the amazing graphics. Um, the, we got the, the reshooter 
physical copy. This is the signature edition. So the signature edition uh, comes, whoa, that's a code. I don't think you're supposed to see that code. It's some secret code uh, <laughs> but that came with, the, with Another World. It came with this rad little manual. Um, it came with uh, some great artwork. Our friend uh, Paul Kitching did this 3D artwork. He also did all the 3D artwork in Viva Amiga, Zach's film. Um, mm -hmm. And it's really beautiful. He's like the Amiga 3D renderer extraordinaire. And then here on the left, we've got the physical copy of the game itself. And on the right, we have a CD uh, with, uh, with Martin's music, which is, which is awesome. Uh, maybe we'll pop that in later, too. <laughs> and maybe we'll play some Reshooter. I know you were watching that stream. Yeah. I saw it, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a really, really cool game. <clears throat> so um, those, are, those are like my main, my main pickups. Um, let's see if I go here, webcam. There you go. Boom. Those are my main pickups. Um, ah, nice. Let's see. Uh, let me catch up on the chat. Uh, it's hard for me to, like, normally I have the chat, like, here, so I can just be like, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Now, but I'm on the road here, so. <laughs> oh, I still, Nightbot is still telling people where they can buy reshooters, so that's good. That's good. <laughs> um, you miss your SLKs? Oh, yeah. This is incredible, right? Guys, they, they love the, uh, they love the gift. Oh, Retro Red Realm's got the orange version. The orange version is sold out. Otherwise, I probably would have gotten the orange version as well. But you know what? Workbench 1.3 Blue is pretty sweet as well. <laughs> um, yeah, the... Uh, wait, who said it? He didn't even know. Yeah, Another World in Vinyl. Ex exactly, Amiga Live. Um, it is so it is so beautiful. Um, someone said... Oh, yeah, Amiga Live said, I didn't even know the game had music. It's so, it's so funny because I popped in the CD. And it's just all like very atmospheric, and <laughs> oh, yeah. it's only 30 minutes long. There's not a lot of music. It's a short, it's a short soundtrack, and it's all like very atmospheric. <laughs> so that's a good play point. Play the game a lot longer than the soundtrack. Lasts. Will it blend, yeah. Captain Johnson. But will it blend? That's hilarious. Yeah. Domagas is still using vinyl too. Nice dude. Nice. Um, Richard says uh, Glenn Fraser is a good friend. Nice. Um, let's see. It's yeah, exactly, Mr. Cola. <laughs> you gotta enjoy it. You gotta put it on the deck. You gotta do it. Um, Sin Lao says it comes with the CD. Save, save the vinyl. <laughs> It'll be okay to play it once. Um, Singin says uh, are a lot of your viewers from Europe. Was under the impression Amiga was bit wasn't big in America. Yeah, Singin. Most of my, I'd say, the majority of them are from Europe for sure. But um, but you know, being that we have the Amiga user group here, and we still have it. Um, I'm, I'm definitely tapped into the Amiga users in the States and we're, there's a lot of us here. There's a lot of us here. We're just spread out because America is so big yeah. that we got, you know, we got, uh, we got a lot of folks here in New York. I got a lot of friends in California, folks in the Midwest, folks, folks in Florida. <laughs> so we're all kind of spread out, but there's, uh, there's a pretty good concentration of us here in, uh, in New York. So yeah, I'd say the European, uh, the Europeans, like Amiga is like way, way, way more important to them, but there's still like a lot of us here being that. Commodore's headquarters was only like two hours from here. <laughs> it's kind of ironic. <laughs> Westchester, Pennsylvania. Westchester, Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. yeah. The Greek stick is ready to go, Amiga Live. Um, it is great artwork, right? Yes. Um, I'm just kind of going through. Awesome, yeah, Pierre, awesome birthday gifts, right? Um, Razor loves Reshooter. Currently, he played until level three and plays 30 in the global charts. I gotta play it again. And now, so guys, I have like a big, well, how big is that TV? 50 something inch? 55. So yeah, I got, I got the Amiga up on the 55 inch TV today. So it'll be interesting to play these games <laughs> on the big there's, screen. There's a chance I might be able to see it. <laughs> yeah. Sin Lao says the LP is 45 speed. Oh, probably because it's so short. <laughs> um, do you remember the big hitter games? Indie Retro News is saying, do you remember the big hitter Amiga games in the United States during the Amiga era? That's a great question, because Indie Retro is from the UK. Uh, the big hitter games here were like, Cinemaware was big here. So like your Defender of the Crown was huge. Uh, all the Cinemaware games were big, especially Cinemaware is from California, being an American company. Um, Speedball was huge here. Um, was, I'm trying to think like American games that were, I mean, Out of This World was also very popular, called Another World in the States, even though it's made in France. <laughs> like Retro Red Rum. <laughs> um, but yeah, I would say the Cinemaware games were probably the, the biggest ones. Um, TV Sports, Football, Defender of the Crown, they would be the biggest ones, I think. But of course, and Lemmings. I mean, Lemmings is massive here. Lemmings, Lemmings is massive, is yeah. Lemmings big everywhere, yeah. Domagos says he, lo he loves how Twitch brings Commodore people from all over the world together. It's amazing, right? It it's is. so cool. This is like, all these are like Westchester Amiga user group, like virtually, all yeah. these streams. It's awesome. Yeah. Um, 
Brother Bill was in the Bahamas. Oh, nice, nice. Um, Remember when Scott Kennedy? Oh no, he said he said oh, Brother Bill says Commodore was in the Bahamas. No, they are they're they're exactly they were they were incorporated in the Bahamas, but their actual headquarters was in Westchester, Pennsylvania. Oh, okay, I didn't. It was a little, a little little tax little tax finagle and it is there. <laughs> what computer companies finagle? <laughs> Wow, uh, Roar, Roar completed a reshooter. Roar's a good game. Um, yeah, Indie Retro says Cinemaware was awesome. Sev, uh, Sven, uh, one of the creators, is a good friend of mine. Oh, very cool. That's awesome. I think I know Sven. He's an awesome dude. Um, Sven's from Germany. I don't know him that well, but I, I'm in touch with him. He's super cool. Um, oh, you have some signed copies of a special edition at home? Oh, nice, dude. <laughs> All right, let's start. You know what? So I think Johnny is here in the stream. So let's turn down the Ace Man. Even as much. So Ace Man is a great musician. I met him at Ami Party. He's Polish, and uh, this is a collection of all his music, which is which is really incredible. Um, he's got a new song that I just downloaded today as well. He uh, he put it in a competition at a party in Poland. Well, the people who are looking in now, can they see that screen? At the moment, they can't. But watch, if we switch to Amigan webcams, they can. There, yeah, nothing can see it. So, so I'm using a, this player that I'm using is called Hippo Player, and I like it because see all these. Each one of these says Ace Man. Each one of these is a song. Each one of these is a mod file. So I can just dump them all here into this folder, and then it just plays them. So it's great for streaming. It just goes from one one to the other. Mm. With some of the other programs, you have to like load each file and play it, and then load the next one. But this is really cool because it just lets you dump a whole bunch of things from a folder into there into the playlist, and boom, you're off and running. Um. Indie Retro News, I like Indie Retro News, has got good questions. Um, oh, well, let me say, let's see, yeah. Yo, Break666, how's it going? Amiton's here, we'll play some Coco Banana now. But Indie Retro News says, what's the biggest highlight of my Amiga life? Mm -hmm. I mean, I think we talked about that already. That's, like, we talked about that right before the stream, I'm meeting Jay Minor. Yeah, yeah that that's was probably <laughs> that we might. Went to, take we the went cake. to Washington D.C. for that. We went, oh, yeah, we went all the way down uh -huh. Washington D.C., which is like four I and a half hours. I forgot what it was. Us. Some kind of Ami Expo. Ami Expo, yeah, yeah, it was a big trade show uh, in Washington D.C. called Ami Expo, and uh, yeah, Jay Miner was appearing there and giving a talk. He so did. We he like, talked to you for a while. Like, he talked to you for I, a long time. I took a picture with you and him. Yes. And, uh, you, you know, you were like twelve years old. Or, Something like that, 13, something I think like I was that. 15. 15? Uh, 15. You were young. And that is the photo that we used at Finnish Computer Festival East this year, which mm -hmm. I, I still have to release all the photos. I, I got a lot of work to do, but I was traveling for four and a half weeks after BCF East, so yeah. I got a lot of catching up to do. Yeah. But yeah, I guess meeting Jay Miner was probably the biggest highlight. Yeah, that was pretty <laughs> that cool. That and all the WOG meetings. I mean, every WOG meeting was just awesome, like partying here in the basement and hanging out with Anthony, you know, and everyone. Mm -hmm. that, that, oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, well, I don't know about the Anthony part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, remember when Anthony spilled the coffee on my Amiga 2000 keyboard? And the, the G key wouldn't work, and you, you had to take it all apart and fix it all. <laughs> I remember the infamous cup of coffee. Mom made him. <laughs> yeah, mom, mom woke him up. And then he, he, it woke him up so much that he spilled the coffee on the Amiga, 12, the Amiga 2000 keyboard. <laughs> she, she electrified him with a cup of coffee she made. Oh, jeez. Pierre, you want to see the light from the huge 55-inch screen illuminating? Yeah, it's fine. I didn't, I didn't light. I didn't turn on any lights today. I'm just using house lights. I got lazy. I didn't, I didn't light us. Um, singing. Did I draw things in deluxe paint back in the day? I sure did. Oh, yeah, yeah, deluxe paint was huge here. Um, I didn't draw that much in deluxe paint. I did mostly like titles. Um, I used deluxe paint a lot for titles. Like deluxe paint three, you know, had animation, so I would do a lot of titles for the videos that I would make. Yeah. That was the main thing I did because I, I can't really draw that well. <laughs> Neither can I. No, so I, but but you could I use it for mostly like titles. I would make words flip around on the screen and do titles for videos. Um, yo, Torque Official, thank you for the host, man. I appreciate that very very much, Torque Official. Um, nice, yeah, that's awesome. Just checking on the mix. Uh, is it sure. good? Yeah. Just want to make sure it's not too loud. Anthony says that uh, it was nuclear coffee. Yeah. <laughs> it was. I um. It's when I when I do these mixes, it's hard because every song is like got a different volume. Oh sure. So I can't always mix. It, but I always I always err on the side of making the music too low, so at least people can hear me. Well, I'd rather you do it that way than the other way. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because being an audio guy, uh, to me, that's important. You got to be able to hear what somebody's saying. Um. To mix without headsets, I don't know how you do it. Oh yeah, Indie Retro has another good question. I like his qu good questions. Um, Indie Retro says, did anyone else around you other than your family play the Amiga? Um, yes, I mean, I was in the Westchester Amiga user groups and we had 150 members and 
the, the group drew from like everyone in our town, essentially, our, our county called Westchester County. So, so yeah, Anthony was over here all the time playing. Okay. <laughs> Anthony was here, all my WOG friends used to come here. So there's, there's a lot of people playing Amiga in, in my life growing up. <laughs> we used to have awesome parties here. We're gonna have another one really soon too, by but, the way. But you know, it was interesting though, your friends' friends, like your school friends, the friends in the neighborhood that you hung around with, none of them were Amiga people. Right. It, it was when you met the Amiga people through the WOG group, through the Westchester Amiga user group, that was like a whole different crowd. It was like the subculture, man. Yeah, we were like yeah. underground. Yeah. Even, <laughs> even when you went to school, when you went to grade school and then high school, there were very few people using the Amiga in those schools. I think I had like one friend in school who had an Amiga. Yeah, who was yeah uh, I had uh, John Capra. Oh, John. Yeah, yeah John, yeah. Jonathan Capra. He had an yeah. Amiga in high school. And then yeah. in grammar school, I think Damon, I don't think Damon ever had an Amiga, but he was interested in it. Um, but yeah, Jonathan Capra was like the only one. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Um, so yeah, this, it, uh, in, growing up in the States, everyone had PCs or Macs. Because Mac, that was Apple's strategy. I like get, get computers into the school, so then when kids grew up, they would stick with the Apple. But if you remember, in your grade school, the first computer room that was ever built had all Ataris. Exactly. And then, uh, eventually, they went over to Macs, I think. I don't know, yeah. They had Atari all until I graduated in yeah, 89. Yeah. yeah, they still had those 800s and 800XLs. Torque, uh, hey, what's up, Jörg? <laughs> nice to see you. Um, yes, so Johnny says, uh, so Johnny just released this game called Coco Banana for free, version 2.0, uh, for all Amigas with one megabyte of RAM. So, oh, it's New Zealand Story is one of your favorite games on the Amiga. Sweet. Uh, I never played New Zealand Story. I remember, I remember it, but it was, I wasn't a big New Zealand uh player. Um, Captain John says his mother once played Bubble Bobble on the 64. Nice. My mom never really played any games. No, she was never into the... Uh, very rare did I ever see her even sitting down at the, uh, at the computers. Um, Indy Retro says you had an RM Nimbus at school. He had, I never heard of an RM Nimbus. It's funny, there was a lot of European computers I never really heard of until I got into retro, like the ZX Spectrum, <laughs> the ZX Spectrum. I didn't really even know much about it until yeah. I got into the retro computing and my, my friends from Europe were showing it to me. Yeah. All right, Johnny, let's see, let's see what we got here, Johnny. Uh, Johnny, I haven't tried the game yet. I haven't tried loading the game yet, so I'm not sure if it works. <laughs> we'll find out. We'll find out, Johnny. <laughs> if it doesn't work, it's not your fault. Yeah. It's 100% my fault. Um, Coco Banana version 2. Where are you here? There it is. Oh, okay, so it's got two versions. It's got an AGA version and ECS version. AGA is like the later Amigas, like this one, the 1200 and the 4000. They had the advanced graphics architecture that had more colors. Mm -hmm. um, and then the ECS is um, the enhanced chipset, which was kind of like the OCS. Um, the OCS was the original chipset, and the ECS was a little improvement on that. Like the Amiga 500 Plus had the ECS, but we never had the Amiga 500 Plus here. It was a European release only. Oh, okay. Uh, but I've got one now. Uh, Pete Fletcher gave me one, which I'm super psyched about. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Mr. Cole has got uh, a, Z a ZX Spectrum on the way to him. Um, yo, Sanzi in 01, what's up, dude? How's it going, Tim? Great to see you. Richard had a Tandy. Oh, yeah. Uh, Anthony's school's first computer had the TRS-80. Yeah, yeah. Um, I remember all of them, the Tandy, the TRS-80. Oh, Sin Lao, yes, I did have Aegis Animator. Yep, I had lots of animation programs. Fantavision, which I got the box of right there. Deluxe Paint 3, I used to animate and imagine as well. Um, Sanzi and my friend Sanzi and Tim, he's, uh, he's in charge of the, uh, he's like a product demonstrator and distributor of this thing called the SD2 IEC, which is very similar to the Atari thing I just showed you uh, mm -hmm. is a little drive you put into your Commodore 64 and you load all the, the games onto a SD card and you can play them on the 64. I'll have it set up uh, at the WOG party. Um, your mom was addicted to Chloris on the Amiga? Nice. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, Brother Bill says the ZX Spectrum's got a huge following. It sure does. It sure does. Yo, Playa Veli, what's up, dude? Great to see you, Playa. Playa is my friend uh, originally from Germany. Now he lives... Ooh. Yo. <laughs> Pig, pig a Q. Thank you for the follow, Pig. It's awesome to have you. <laughs> Playa uh, lives in San Diego now, where the weather is always perfect. And uh, he, came, he came to visit me in New York, and we got to hang out. It was, it was great. He's also one of the moderators. Sanzian with the subscription. Thank you so much, Sanzian. You rock, dude. Uh, I'm not used to the scroll. I'm using my wife's computer here. 
So sorry if I'm a little behind on the chat. Break66 says his first computer ever was the Amiga 500 Plus. Nice, dude. That is awesome. Great one to start with. It sure is. Um, sorry if I if I missed any anyone's chat. You can just mention me or say it again if I missed your chat. Uh, Fishbot is enjoying the stream. Father Son vibe is super chill. Fishbot is an awesome guy. I can't wait to meet him in person one day. He's always super positive guy hanging out in the chats, and he's always got the good vibes, man. I love Fishbot. Um, you love your 500 plus, nice brother Bill. Uh, Play Valley says, "Great to see you again." He he checked out the other stream as well last year's stream. <laughs> Pierre's gotta go. Uh, off to celebrate his 24th wedding anniversary. 24, dude. Pierre, happy anniversary. Yeah, that's Pierre. amazing, Pierre. Congratulations, man. Maybe we'll see you in a couple. Of yeah, weeks. Pierre, I'll be sending out an email soon. Hopefully, we'll see you and bring your bring your bride of 24 years. It'll be awesome. <laughs> you got a cocoa, nice brother Bill. Um, Sandian's uh, first computer was a, a Z80 research machine. Mm -hmm. Nice. Again, that's another European one. Oh, I was going to say, I don't remember the yeah. Z. Um, Singen's got an Amstrad 464 Plus. Uh, they look really similar to the Amiga. Quite rare, super sexy. Oh, I think the Amstrad, that's the one that um, Thierry brought. He brought an Amstrad. It wasn't that specific model. We brought an Amstrad to uh, the party last year. Okay. Um, another, another European computer is similar to the Amiga that we never, we never had here. Um, Johnny, yes, Cocoa Banana is available to download. Uh, if you go register at the Amiton TV site, um, Johnny, if you want to throw the link down in the chat, go for it. Um, I do know AmigaPortal.de. That's awesome, Torque. Great to have you. Oh, Sandy says, I rock. Thank you, sir. <laughs> um, no, Mayhem, he's not selling the Atari thing I have. He just makes it for you, and then you pay him for the parts. If you want, Mayhem, I'll have him make you one. Um, it's, it's super sweet. It's got every um, Atari game on it? My God, that's... Uh, well, pretty much, <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, Roar's got to head out. Roar, thanks for stopping in. It's great to see you as always, my man. Keep up. Roar's an amazing artist. He does really cool drawings. Um, that's a talent neither one of us have. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I think I just caught up on, on the chat. Um, not sure what was going on there, but thank you, Captain John, for, for being on top of that. I, I missed that. <laughs> uh, didn't see what was going on there. Oh, you want one, John? Uh, Anthony? Sure, dude. Um, all right, so let's play Johnny's game. Cocoa Banana V2. I might turn up the volume here so I can, I can hear it. Uh, let's see. So I can, I, I can put on the headphones, too. But um, it's, it's hard to play a game when you can't hear the sound. Yeah, you might have to turn it up on the receiver. Oh, oh here we no, go. Oh, there you go. You got it. Nice. nice. Yeah, yeah. I, I like Am it already. Amy, Team Amiton, where dreams come true. Coco Banana. Oh, wow. Lots of people worked on the game. Yeah, Johnny. <laughs> Let me give you a little tip next time. Roll the credits slower. Oh, it was so too fast it's... for Dad to read it. So you can see. Coco the... Banana is enjoying a sunny day with his girlfriend. Suddenly, the evil big cheery bird has kidnapped her. He kidnapped Diana. Really nice graphics. You must travel the whole Tropicana Kingdom and reach the fire castle of the evil big cheery bird. Save Diana Banana. <laughs> Diana Banana is great. And return peace to Tropicana. Good luck, Coco Banana. That's awesome. <laughs> Diana Banana. I love it. That's hilarious. And of course, uh, I am playing another really nice graphic. I'm playing here uh, with the Greek stick, so uh, I have an unfair advantage. <laughs> <gasps> Wolf Dawn's liking the soundtrack. I don't know who did the music, Johnny. I'm not sure. Don, is it Donnie? Was it start game? Whoops. Press fire to start. Oh wow. This is sweet. Are there palm trees in Egypt? I see a pyramid there. <laughs> we, maybe we're in Egypt. Yeah. It's, it's a tropical island. We're in Amiga yeah. Paradise, Dad. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> That's where Johnny's from. Oh, this is cool. I'm getting some. I'm getting some. Some pineapples here and bananas. I'm gonna make like a. I'm gonna make a daiquiri. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna put them in a blender and throw in a little rum, and you know, go. we'll be in Amiga Paradise, all make, right. Make me a pina colada. Speaking of that. Uh, we, got, we do have to have some cocktails today. Uh -oh. This is fun. This is awesome. I love these platformers. 
Uh, Donnie, Donnie did the music. Okay, there you go. Well, that's really good. Is it uh, is it uh, too is it too um, is the volume too low on the music? Let's see. I think I think it might be a little low. I, I'd go to nine. Want to listen on the headsets? I uh, I don't. Uh, I, normally, I run all the audio through a mixer, guys. But beginning that my show is on the road today, I'm not in my normal streaming setup. Give me those bananas. Music sounds good, nice. So uh, the Giant said there's gonna be a version that will play on a stock Amiga 500 as well. Even though you know we're playing this on my 1200, which is souped up. Now that how cool is it that like people are still making games for Amiga here in 2019? <laughs> Amazing, right? <laughs> I would never, I would never believe it. You know, like on the last stream we had the reshooter guys on, and now here's Johnny with this new game. Oh man, I, think, I need that energy. I, I know I should I should have read the directions, but <laughs> I, I just kind of jumped right into it. I was just, I was just like, please, I hope it works because I didn't even try it. <laughs> yeah, Johnny, if you want to throw the link uh, to where to download uh, this Coco Banana uh, in the chat, go for it. I know I have a link somewhere, um, but it's a little bit hard for me to, to grab it right now because, like I said, I got the show I was on the road. And you're busy playing this game. Okay, so uh, Tim uh, Sanzian says he's got some great memories of playing uh, games with his daughter Danica. Um, what's your best memory of playing games with me? Uh, he wasn't in the chat before when you mentioned the other one. Okay. So you can tell him. Well, there was a lot of them, but probably Star League Baseball was one of the best because we both love baseball. And uh, they had a, a promotion going from the company that if you ever won the game over the computer team, you should take a picture and send it in to the company and they will send you a, a, a certificate that, that you beat the game. And they did, you did. Remember, when you beat that game for the first time, it must have been like 12 of us down here in the, in the basement all watching you play this baseball game. It was really cool. Like you would basically, <laughs> yeah, if you beat the baseball game, uh, you would take a picture of the screen with the old school 35 millimeter, you know, camera. Yep. And then you would mail it into the company, and they would send you like a membership card. Yeah. Oh yeah, nice. I just got a margarita. A nice little cocktail there. Um, <laughs> oh, this go enemy for is cool. One right now, actually. Yeah, I could go for one too. <laughs> we might have to bust open a beer pretty soon. Um, so yeah, so like basically, it was a, all like I've been playing this game like all summer, and I couldn't beat it. It was so hard. Oh, it was months. You months, playing. like all summer. And then finally, like one day, like a bunch of the neighborhood kids were here and we were playing and I was winning and like we were all gathered around the screen. And I think we, I think there's a picture of that somewhere in the album. Yeah. And everyone was like cheering and it was like, it was like more exciting than like a real Yankees game. It was, <laughs> I mean, it was pretty damn exciting. Uh, later in the retro, thanks so much for hanging out, dude. Always a pleasure, my man. Oh, Lost Patrol was hard. Yeah, it was. This game's awesome. Johnny, great. Oh, this guy, uh, he takes more hits. Oh, I see. Okay, so there's my health is in the lower left corner. Uh, it looks like I'm in, I'm in world one of three. Game is super. Johnny, the game plays really well, man. And it looks beautiful, and, and the music's great. I'm trying to get that drink, Johnny. I want, <laughs> I want that cocktail. Coco, Coco wants the Coco Loco. When I was in uh, Dominican Republic with Alexander, they had a drink called the Coco Loco, and it was like coconut milk and rum and all kinds of crazy stuff. And if you drank too many of them, you went very loco. Oh, I'm sure you did. She went loco too. She was <laughs> like, I, she hasn't been that bombed in a while. <laughs> oh, he's a three hitter. I didn't know he was a three hitter. The game reminds you of Chuck Rock a little bit of Mega Live. Nice. Johnny, Johnny says thank you for playing the game. Uh, th thanks for making the game, dude. This is yeah. awesome. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh yeah, we got it. Nice. We got the cocktail. These guys are tough. There we go. I love the character too. Johnny says this that uh, the character is from an old Capcom game. So he uh, he resurrected Coco Banana from an old Capcom game, which I don't I never played it. 
He's Don't. tough. That enemy is tough. I have to shoot him and then fall back. Somebody's got to resurrect Leisure Suit Larry. Oh, they well, I <laughs> I did get the new Leisure Suit Larry. It's hilarious. They did a re they uh, they did a, a remastered one a couple years ago, that... and they just came out with a brand new a brand new one. Oh, Wait, it's, it's hilarious because he's got like a cell phone. And it's like on Tinder. <laughs> it's like it's updated for so like it's modern. A modern. Yeah, it's a modern day. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> it, yeah, it's a modern day sleeve. It's really good. Oh jeez. Oh good. Oh, that guy's spawning again. Oh, he's tough. Oh good. We got some strawberries, some bananas. Cocoa banana is very healthy. Alexander would like this game because there's lots of fruits in it. Yeah. <laughs> my, my wife is uh, very into fruits. She's a, a vegan and. She makes amazing smoothies every day. I had an amazing smoothie this morning. So she would, I think she would love this game actually, Johnny. <laughs> and she wants, she's very anxious to go visit uh, Amiga Paradise there. <laughs> she's like, I want to go visit the guy who lives in the Canary Islands. <laughs> and she wants to visit um, the Greek guys too. She's like, she really, and I, so do I. That's another one she wants to go see. She's dying to go to Greece, yeah. yeah. Greece and Amiga Paradise. Like, I'll, I'll, we'll get there. Especially now that she. <laughs> <laughs> Especially now, she's gonna have more time she's on her hands. Retiring. And <laughs> <laughs> the only trouble is it costs money to get to these places. Oh, Sandy says awesome memories. I remember that Activision used to do a high score competition to win badges. If you got a high score, you take a picture and send it in. Some of the badges now have fetch a pretty penny. Oh yeah, oh, I must. I think I have my card somewhere. Yeah, it's up in your desk. I think. Somewhere. Yeah, I have to find it. Oh yeah, uh, Singin says um, Wonder Boy and Monsterland is one of his favorites, similar to this. Oh, Stewie says uh, a choco banana is a banana covered in a chocolate shell. That sounds good. <laughs> yes, awesome. That's amazing. So all Amigas with one megabyte can play this game, and soon a stock Amiga five hundred. So that's 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 so cool. How long did it take you guys to? Uh to develop this Good game. question. I mean, it's Johnny. How long? How long did it take? Uh, let's see. Whoops. I think I had the wrong button. Okay. Um, yeah. But that—that's. Oh yeah, this is the Egyptian course. Yeah. Um, how long did it take you to make Coco Banana, Johnny? I know. Um, Johnny is is made other games in the past. I have the Dream of Rowan. So he's uh, he's been like making games and improving his skills, and he also gives like uh, he does live streams and gives like courses on how to how to do it as well, okay. as, including the I mean, programming this, language. This looks like a totally you know, professional game. It does. That you buy in the store. I'm, I'm impressed with this one, Johnny. Yeah, this <laughs> Johnny's really stepped up his game for Coco <laughs> Banana. He did a really good job on this one. Certainly did. <laughs> this is cool. Oh, so Johnny did six months for the original re release, and then six months more for the update. Wow. That's awesome, Johnny. Great job, dude. Mr. Cole, oh, you got the, the you got the um, the ACA 500 Plus. Nice, dude. The ACA 500 Plus is great. Singin says he should bring this to the Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switch is is a is a hot item these days. It's a cool platform. Yo. 3D Code Warrior gifted a subscription to Amiton TV. Thank you, 3D Code Warrior. It's super kind of you. Now, now Johnny can throw down my uh, the Amiga Bill thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Uji. Sweet, dude. You're doing pretty good considering you're looking half at the at the chat screen and half at the game. It's, it's not easy, you know, <laughs> keeping up with chat and trying to play the game, especially when the chat is like really small on that little laptop over there. <laughs> Normally I have it on my, uh, uh, my big screen. Even then it's hard, no doubt. Oh, this guy is tough. The red guy is tough. Oh, I got him. Just in nick of time. <laughs> Yeah, Brother Bill says this is some classic Amiton music. Like, Johnny did this game, Dream of Rowan, in the past, like I said. Mm -hmm. And we, we play at the WOG meetings, man. You know, it's freaking cool. Johnny chilling out in Amiga Paradise, making games, doing streams. <laughs> Life is good. It is, this is, I'm, Johnny, I'm really impressed with this game. This is pretty rad. And uh, I'm still testing the Greek stick and it's passing the test. <laughs> so check it out with the Greek stick. Um, a lot of the, you know, the original Amiga joysticks basically had one button. So on the, this button on the top lets you shoot. 
but then uh, this has a second button, so you can program it to jump. So instead of pressing up on the stick, you can press up or you can uh, hit the second button to jump. Oops. I should have been hitting the fire button, not the jump button. But it's a really nice feature because sometimes it's hard to, um, it's sometimes easier to press the button than it is to press the joystick up. It responds a little bit better too with the button, interesting. Oh, Harry Longbone wants you to play. <laughs> <laughs> you want to try it? <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, it's a little bit hard for my dad to see the games, even on the, the biggest screen. Because um, my eyesight is his, Yeah, his, his eyesight is uh, seeing better days. <laughs> but you like you can see it. Like, you're doing pretty well. Yeah. And you can see it on the yeah, on there, right? You can see it here too. Yeah. I'm enjoying it on the big screen. That's nice. Yeah, it's, I'm enjoying it on the big screen too. I don't usually play mini games on the big screen. I usually play them on the CRT, the 13 inch CRT, or at home on my uh, my 27 inch um, gaming monitor. It's really nice to play it on the big screen. It's fun. <laughs> yeah. I'm hogging the games. Oh, thanks, uh, thanks, Mr. Cole. Yeah, I try, I try and keep up with the chat. Today is a little bit harder because of my my setup is. I'm on. You can see I got it over there. I'm trying to read the chat there. You can see it, <laughs> and it's like small. <laughs> uh, and DJ Billy Ness from the uh, Finnish Computer Society of Athens said that uh, the stick is almost ready to go into production, right. and they'll be selling them. Yeah. Maybe they'll have an Amiga Bill edition. <laughs> but it's really cool. They gave me this stick to test. I, it passed the test. I love it. Is this the first time you're actually using it? No, no, I've used it on a few streams so far. Okay. Yeah, John, yeah, I love the game. It's really good. Oh, nice. Some of the first batches are, have been available in Greece. Sweet, Johnny. Awesome game, dude. Do you want to, um, I'll show you some of the other games I got here, Dad. And then I was thinking, uh, being that you've watched the reshooter stream, and I've got the physical copy here, maybe we can play a little reshooter, even though I played it last stream. Um, it's a great game. <laughs> I also got, uh, remember the game uh, River Raid? It was an Atari 2600 game originally. River Raid? I don't remember that. They, someone did uh, a game called River Raid Reloaded, which is amazing, and I haven't really played it much. I, I tried it out on one stream not too long ago. Um, and I didn't really get a chance to play it that much, and it's really, really fun. Um, and I got some other ones here to show you too. And I was thinking of playing uh, Another World as well because we got the soundtrack. The Greek stick is feeling pretty good. I got the Greek st stick at a nice angle here. It's like a nice 45 degree angle from the table. <laughs> oh, hey, we got hamburgers now, Dad. So I guess the first couple now levels. You're, you're talking my language. Right? Yeah, the first couple levels were healthy, and now, now we get the snack. <laughs> I like how you can see uh, the little smoke appear before the enemies appear. That's good. Alexandra wouldn't want to play this level. Alexandra <laughs> would not like the hamburgers. That's okay. We like the hamburgers. <laughs> Alexandra is my wife. She like she would prefer the fruit levels. Oh, it's so funny that guy. You know he's got spikes on his shell, so naturally you wouldn't be able to land on him. But I'm so used to like Super Mario Brothers and like landing on top of the guys. My instincts tell me to do it. I also I like how the the screen. Like the game play is a little bit bigger than the screen. So like when you jump, it scrolls. That's cool. See it? See that's a nice touch. Oh, I'm down there. <laughs> that hurts. Singing wants to order hamburgers now. Include the vegan options. Exactly. <laughs> they, they have some really good burgers here. Uh, one's called like the Impossible Burger, and it, it actually it tastes really good. It's a it's a vegan hamburger. It's, Actually, it's supposedly, delicious. it tastes so much like a regular hamburger that it's impossible to tell yeah, from apart. That's, that's the whole problem with the vegan stuff. Is like I feel like if you say it tastes just like meat, then you disappoint people. Oh, there's there's like a there's a pork chop or yeah. a turkey bone. But if you if you just like let it be its own thing and say, hey, you know what, this might not really taste like a hamburger, but it tastes pretty good, then you can enjoy it more. You know. Well, just because in the vegan world they call it a hamburger doesn't mean it tastes anything like one. That's and that's and that's the thing is like if you call it that, I get the key, and then you'll disappoint people if it doesn't taste exactly like a hamburger. Right. You know? But if you just say, oh, this is an Impossible Burger, then you're just like, okay, let me try this Impossible Burger thing. If you call it like an awesome burger, hey, what's up, Amiga DJ? Great to see you, my man. <laughs> no problem.
Johnny, I gotta be honest, I'm having fun with the, a lot of fun with this game. I'm kinda hooked. <laughs> I don't want that's the problem with these streams that I, I wanna play a lot of games and then and then I I end up not playing a lot of games because some of them are so good, I just keep playing them. <laughs> now it's like so for people like who are like pro streamers and they stream every day, they I mean it makes more sense for them to play like one game because then you can see like how far they get. Or some people like complete the game on the stream. Yeah. But being that I stream like once a week, um, I try and play just bunch of different games. Yeah, show sense. people, especially there's so many new games coming out for the Amiga, I like to show people. Well, that's the, the, amazing the new, too, to yeah. me, that there's so many new stuff, you know, so much new stuff coming out for the Amiga. My yeah. Game. Yeah, Amiga DJ, there's a lot of nice stuff behind me. We're going to do, um, we're going to do, after after I, I play a bit here, we're going to uh, go do a tour of the basement. Yo, Kalor, 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 thank you so much for the follow, man. I appreciate it. I'm Bill. So yeah, I stream, I stream Amiga stuff about once a week. Um, I run the Westchester Amiga user group right here in Westchester County, New York. If you happen to be in the New York City area on the first Thursday of the month, we meet. I've uh, been meeting since 1987. Never stopped, never will. Uh, <laughs> me and my buddy Anthony is in chat. We got a YouTube channel called The Guru Meditation. I'm, gonna be, I'm editing a new video this week, Dad, as we speak. Okay. Well, not as we speak, but I'm editing it this week. <laughs> yeah, as we speak. As we speak, I'm playing Coco Banana. Um, and so yeah, that's the little spiel about me. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Kalor. I appreciate that. Um, they can't meet the demand for Impossible Burger. It's hilarious. Really? Wolf Dawn says he was actually just eating vegan burgers. Nice. Mr. Cole loves the Impossible Burger. It's really good. I, I agree. The Impossible Burger tastes I, good. I have not even seen it on the menu any place. And the truth is, like. Once you put like avocado and ketchup, well, and lettuce, yeah. you, you can't, you know, it all tastes Well, pretty much they say if you put the onions, the tomato, the lettuce, the ketchup, all that stuff on a plain bun, it tastes like a hamburger. <laughs> so. <laughs> Amiga Love says, uh, oh, Amiga Love. Um, he says, Man of Winter is coming. <laughs> Man, Man of Winter, Winter is coming, like from the Game of Thrones. Uh, so, uh, Amiga Love, I don't have my r regular microphone, but when Amiga Love shows up in the chat, I go, um, let's see if I can do it. Amiga Love. Dot com. <laughs> <laughs> you got to sex up the Amiga Love. <laughs> You're trying to sound like Barry White. <laughs> Amiga Love. <laughs> dot com. <laughs> He's an awesome dude. He lives out in the Pacific Northwest. I got to visit him. He, he is a pine, he is a keeping the Amiga 1000 alive. Amiga Love, I got two. Uh, well, and we do the tour in a little while. I got two Amiga 1000s there. Well, I know you'll like those. Amiga Love sent me a disk drive to help me get one of them working. Okay, good. Um, oh, wow. Amington TV, Johnny says there's 100 levels in this game. Oh, my That's goodness. That's awesome. 100 levels. Domagot says he got so used to vegan burgers, he doesn't want them to taste real anymore. It's so true. It's all about what, what you get used to. Like Sometimes yeah. if, I eat, if I eat, if I stray and I eat a little meat, it's like, man, my tummy gets really full. Um, i got to find a place locally that has it. I bet you there's there's got to be a place that has it. It's kind of like um the vegan Philly cheesesteak at Sweetgrass. Kind of like that. Okay. Um, oh, Amiga Diaz wants to know what your favorite Amiga is. My favorite yeah. Amiga? Well, it would have to be the 500, of course, because that's what we started with. The 500, yeah, yeah that's the one that's we started the with. That's the one that got us into it. Yeah, you know, good so. choice, good choice, Dad. Oh, absolutely. Um... Uji, is Manny doing a, a Vampire V4 reveal at Westchester Amiga User Group? He is, man. He is, Uji. I, I, I've been trying to get him to come and do one, um, but he's been, he wants to get it like perfect before he does it, so he will be doing one, yes. The Impossible Burger is pretty good. Yes, uh, yeah, Amiga J says you're the boss. You know what's good. <laughs> I can bust out my 500. Um, let's see, what else? So check this out, guys. If I ever order... An impossible burger with Alexandra sitting next to me. She's gonna pass out. She will be shocked. <laughs> she will be very happy. Yo, jeez. Oh, <laughs> uh, so Amiga DJ. Amiga DJ is obviously an Amiga DJ. So he DJ. He puts two Amiga 1200s together, and he he and his friends made the software that you DJ. So you can like play songs on both Amigas and mix between them. It's amazing. But Amiga DJ, I know, I know, since you're just coming in, I know you would like this. I showed this at the beginning of the stream, but this is um, another world soundtrack. Switch over to the yeah, I'm picture. switching overhead cam full screen. This is the uh, another world on vinyl. It's pretty It's pretty rad. Another world soundtrack on vinyl. I, I kept the, the plastic on because I want to protect it. <laughs> <laughs> and it, check it out. It came with this rad record. I just, I love this thing. I like how it's got the hero on one side 
and then the uh, the hero's friend on the other side. And it comes in two colors, orange and blue. I got I got the workbench workbench 1.3 blue edition. It's freaking gorgeous. Maybe we'll, we'll I get we'll, I think we'll end the stream with we'll play this record. Okay. That's how we'll end the stream. It's not gonna end yet. Don't worry. We still got still got a lot of stuff to play. <laughs> um, Yo, Rule of Thirds with the resub. Thank you, Rule of Thirds. I appreciate that so much. It's so generous of you, man. Um, wow, Rule of Thirds subscribe for seven months, baby. That is awesome. Wolf Dawn says we've had vegan burgers, but what would an vegan burger look like? <laughs> it would be it'd be red and blue, uh, red and white, <laughs> like the bowling ball. <laughs> Thank you, Rule of Thirds. That's so kind of you, man. I I appreciate that, buddy. Um, Interesting name, Rule of Thirds. Yeah, I, I like that name because of being with photography. photography. Yeah, yeah, I like that a lot. <laughs> I'm going to do a, a post on my Instagram about the rule of thirds uh, in a couple of days. Okay. Um, I, it's one of the assignments I give my TV production students every semester. They got to go on YouTube and research at a couple of videos on the rule of thirds and then write me a review. Oh, yeah. yeah so they, they find a lot of interesting ones for me because you know, there's so many of them. That... You, have, uh, you have to check out my post. Yeah. Uh, Johnny says, thank you so much uh, for me and you for playing the game Coco Banana. This is game. Um, he's going to go stream in 10 minutes from, from Amiga Paradise. So oh. it, I have a great stream, Johnny. Thanks for stopping by. And thanks for the awesome game, my man. Keep up the great work. <laughs> did he post where you can link on? To he did. It? He did post it. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah, at the Amiton site. Okay. Um, I mean, yeah, this is amazing, right, Amiga DJ? It's from, um, if you go to... Uh, blackscreenrecords.com, B L A C K S C R E E N records.com, Black Screen Records. They have all kinds of like video game soundtracks there. This is pretty sweet. Um, yeah, I love the vinyl, and it's like th this 180 gram colored vinyl is like super thick. It's awesome. Um, Amiga love. This is a happy belated Father's Day to you. <laughs> it's you. awesome that we can uh, share our interests together. <laughs> Yeah, blue vinyl is still available. The orange one is no longer available, but the uh, the blue vinyl is. Um, see, I got to check out. I can, I'll show you guys some more of these games. I've shown these on the stream already in the past, but I'll show you, Dad. Mm -hmm. Look at these. I, I got some really cool games here. Uh, actually, Amiga DJ is the one that introduced me to these guys. Um, it's called the RGCD. They're a distributor for these games. Um, and then we got this guy, Lazy Cow. He made these two, Power Glove and Tiger Claw. Tiger Claw is like, remember Bruce Lee on the Atari 800? Mm -hmm, sure. Tiger Claw is like the spiritual successor to Bruce Lee. It's awesome. Power Glove, um, these were both done on the Commodore 64 first and then ported over to Amiga and enhanced for Amiga. It also runs on a modern PC. And then this game uh, called Skill Grid is from uh, Retream. Uh, these, are just, these are all new Amiga games that have come out like in the past year, and they're, they're freaking awesome. I mean, and look how cool. Look at the pack. I mean, the packaging is just like ridiculous. Like, look at this thing. Look, it comes. It, oh, this geez. is my favorite one. It comes with a throwing star <laughs> oh, and, a, and a couple of buttons. That mm. is freaking awesome. It comes. Uh, how cool is this? It comes on a on a floppy disk as well. Okay, I remember those. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we've got all kinds of. We got some stickers. <laughs> we got. Uh, we got. The game comes on CD. You got your CD32 version. <laughs> um, uh, it comes with a really cool manual, uh, and then some uh, some more stickers and some more postcards. So yeah, I mean, this is like a top quality release. It's so cool, and Power Glove is very similar. Check it out. Cool, a lot right? A lot of good stuff in there. Happy Blade Father's Day to you too, Amiga Love. By the way, yeah, the Ninja Star is amazing. <laughs> the yeah, Shuriken's incredible. I bought you a couple of those back in the day. The uh, real yeah, ones. you bought me real Ninja Stars back in the day. I bet you they wouldn't like allow kids to have real throwing stars. Not today. Not probably. today. No. Yeah. I would you like, still have them somewhere. I still know. probably. I still like run around in the backyard and throw them at the trees and stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was awesome. And Power Glove. Power Glove has also uh, got similar package. Similar packaging. It's, wow. it's awesome. It's really amazing stuff, right? Yeah. Yo, Vincent GR, my man, how's it going? Sorry you didn't get the notification. Sometimes Twitch thinks like that. Vincent GR, Vincent GR is one of the first people to ever follow Anthony and I on the Guru Meditation. So really? Vincent goes way back. <laughs> and this one's really cool. Cool. This one's Skill Grid. This is another shooter. This game is really hard. It's but super super fun. But you can see that these guys uh, do like a top notch, oh, qu top beautiful. quality release. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's amazing, right? Uh, these are these are just gorgeous. Um, Oh yeah, Pong. So Pong 4K is another game that came out, and that one uh, I ordered from Poland. 
It's a, it's a new Pong game that's really, really fun. But uh, it hasn't come yet, so I'll be I'll be unboxing it on the stream when it when it comes. Well, what could be new about Pong? Though? Oh, you gotta see it. It's, it's, really? it's incredible. Yeah, it's it's really a fun game. Uh, and then speaking speaking of uh, the Greek guys, uh, this is a game that came out of Greece last year called Worthy, and you can tell it's kind of like the they made characters a little bit like Lemmings. Yeah. And the game is interesting. It's like half arcade game and half a puzzle game, kind of like Lemmings, a little more arcade than Lemmings, but. This is also like a super top quality release. <laughs> so there's like all these games keep coming out. It's awesome. So I have like new stuff to play every week. <laughs> um, it seems like more new ones are coming out now than they did back in the 80s. Rule of Third says all the packaging are very impressive. Yeah. Yeah. I dig folks who get that physical copy. Yeah, I like, to, I like putting it on my shelf still. Me too. It's, it's cool to see it on the shelf if you have, if you have the space for it. <laughs> well, that's the problem. <laughs> That's yeah, it's a real problem. <laughs> yeah, Brother Bill says the Pong 4K is amazing. We'll play it. We'll play it at, at, the, yeah. at the games party soon. Okay. The Pong 4K is awesome. DJ Billionaire says Worthy is, is an awesome mini game. I I agree. Worthy Worthy is like one of the best. Worthy is one of the I think it's one of the best mini games ever. It's like it's that wow. good. It's so good. I love it. Um, do you want to see it? Do you want to see Worthy? Yeah, sure. We'll do they ca do they sell these new Amiga things in like GameStop and places like no, that? Right? No, 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 uh, no, you no. You have to search them out. Or, or yeah, there's a few online retailers that mm -hmm. sell them, like um, Amiga.net.pl is a, a store in Poland that will sell it, and then the uh, RGCD guys uh, who are in the UK, like they sell the Tiger Claw and the Power Glove and the Skill mm -hmm. Grid. So most of them, you know, it's it's a small small operations. Yeah, that's another reason why I like to buy the physical copies to like support the guys who made the game and people who sell it you know mm -hmm. so uh yeah no it'd be cool it'd be amazing to see worthy on the shelf in uh in in uh gamestop <laughs> it would be just like it was 30 years ago though people would say what's an amiga <laughs> right <laughs> um let me see let me see if i have worthy on the on the 1200 let me uh, reboot here real quick we can play a little worthy um skill grid i played a skill grid skill grid is a really impressive game you have to there's all these different power-ups that come on the grid, and you have to like really know what you're doing to play the game well. <laughs> and I haven't studied the skill grid that well, so skill grid I need to I study up on. Tiger Claw is neat too. Uh, you'll like that one because it's Bruce Lee. Let's see. All right. I hope. Um, do you want me guys to play Worthy? Worthy is an awesome game. Hey, what's up, Phenotype82? Um, I think I have Worthy on here. I hope I have Worthy on here. Um, I always swap back and forth between my PC and my Amigo, let's see. Games, I'm sure I've worthy on here. I just don't know which version of it. Um, wait, it did, it did come with a floppy disk, right? So I could always pop in the floppy. See that there's a good reason to, uh, to have the floppy, but I do have worthy on here. Worthy, just got a cool icon as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Rule of Thirds says a great point. Uh, he would love if the retro game store in the city started carrying retro computing stuff. Oh, the, the game store. They carry obscure old console stuff, so why not? Yeah, if you own a GameStop, sometimes they'll have like a pile of Atari 2600 cartridges and stuff. Really? It'd be cool if they sold Amiga stuff. You, I, you use the floppy version phenotype? Yeah, I got. I think the floppy. Is the floppy in here? Yeah, I got the floppy right here. Boom. So worst case, I was popping the floppy, and I need to hook my CD-ROM drive up to this 1200 because I've got a lot of CD-ROM games like Pong 4K. I'm gonna want to play off the CD because the soundtrack, the Pong 4K, is just awesome. You love Worthy too, but hard to later levels. Yeah, Worthy's hard, Captain John. Don't make us. Worthy. Th this is a thinking game, but look how how, look how awesome this is. Mm. Those are beautiful graphics. I haven't played Worthy in a while, so it'd be fun to play it. It's a thinking game? Yeah, you'll see. You have to think and, and perform. Oh, my God. Can you chew gum at the same time? Too? Can you read chat at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> um, Amiga Love says the boxed version of Tiger Claw for Amiga is also very affordable for such a top quality package. Yeah, Tiger Claw and Power Glove both are, those, that, those are not expensive at all. RGCD is all about getting the games to the people. They they don't make a big profit on those. Mm -hmm. And those, I mean, the, like a quality package like that, like isn't is amazing. Like it, it's such good quality. 
Oh, that's oh look at this. Yeah, so let's play some words. I hope the mix is alright. You want you want to put the headphones on so you can... It might be a little loud. I turned up the volume a little bit. Oh, it's fine. It's alright? Can you, I'm talking now. Is the mix alright, Dad? Yeah. My dad's a, an audio guy, so he can tell me if the mix is good. So you see, I'm that little dude at the top. And then uh, and you see there's a, a girl in the center of the screen. Mm -hmm. And the idea is you have to collect enough diamonds to, to win her over. <laughs> so you have to collect these diamonds. A little and, bit of a sexist and thing. Then, and then, and then once, you, once you get her enough diamonds, <laughs> then you can clear the level and get to the next one. Okay. Um, and there's, so it starts off easy. So like you're like, okay, so there's like, like a little obstacle there. These spikes come up. I got to avoid the spikes. Um, and it, I don't think you need to get her all diamonds. There's a, if it shows you in the upper right corner, you see there's a diamond count. Yeah. If you get, uh, once you reach the, you, zero diamonds, it means you have enough. But if, I like to clear them all. And this game gets really hard uh, later on. It's like I said, you'll see how you have to you have to fight, but then you also have to plan out your strategy. Right now, this is just very simple. I'm just going around and collecting the diamonds. But then there's all these game. Uh, oh man, that was bad. <laughs> there's there's all these um, different elements that come in, like like spikes and um, and these like arrows that shoot. Oh, Sin Lao says that I play Typhoon Thompson. Uh, no, I never did. So Sin Lao um, is in my Discord channel, and uh, he's always posting like free free games. It's pretty cool. There's like a lot of these places, like uh, Good Old Games and Steam. They'll have like these special offers, and they'll offer like a game for free for a limited time. And Sin Lao, man, he's on top of it. Oh man, I, I, <laughs> I'm not doing too good here, Dad. <laughs> um, they better change that joystick. <laughs> no, it's not the green stick's fault. It's, it's me. I know. Um, that was my point. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I never have to buy it. I, it's good because he saves me so much money on new games that I can spend it on, on Amiga games. <laughs> I mean, PC games. New PC games. He saves me money on. Thanks, Sin Lao, dude. The mix is good. Thanks, Captain John. Oh wow, Captain John says his local retro shop sells used Amiga games. Wow. That's awesome. Um, yeah, Amiga DJ says my dad is spot on. <laughs> the mix is great, nice dude. Sin Lao, you are totally on top of it. Yo. Shut up, one, two, three is now following. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the follow, shut up. <laughs> I love the handle. <laughs> Did I call them handles anymore? Yeah, yeah <laughs> alias handle, screen name. There, all right, we want her over. We got enough diamonds to make her happy. They, the, the guys, um, the, they want you to, try to feel out the joystick. This will be a tough game for him to play because it's a little bit small on the screen, but they want you just to feel it. Okay. Try it out. Oh, yeah. Well, boy, it's got a great weight to it. I mean, it really does. Uh, so, yeah, hit the top one. There you go. See, it's easier for him to play off the OBS screen because it's, it's closer to him, but it, there's a delay. So, you're, you, there's a little bit of a delay there on, the, on, the, on that screen. Mm -hmm. So, it'll be even harder for you. See, that red guy's chasing you now, yeah, Pac Man style. Well, you know what happens, too, is that I'm, uh, you know, I'm colorblind. Oh, right. So you tell me there's a red guy chasing me. <laughs> <laughs> Could be any color. <laughs> it's tough being colorblind. This is a really, you should, I should start you on level one, because on this one you actually have to go up and you have to get that sword and you have to swat the red guy. Oh, you can't go up there yet. No, I, I know, because there's a beer up there. You see that beer? Yeah, I can go for that. Yeah. Let's okay. start you on level one. Fastest game I've ever played. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't want to continue. I want to start with level one. You see, I'm not really colorblind. I do see color. I just see it wrong. That's the problem. My reds and greens are all mixed up all the time. What does red look like to you? Well, sometimes it looks oh, red, continue. but sometimes it looks brown. And sometimes, this is the really tough part, it looks green. Uh, like for years, I've been calling that chair over there the green chair, right? But it's brown. Yeah, but to me, it's green. That's... <laughs> I'm glad I don't have that problem because I would have to choose oh, a different career. Oh, no, I know. So here, you can play this level, Dad. There's no, there's no red guys trying to get you or brown guys. So you just have to go around and collect those diamonds. You need eight diamonds to win her heart. Uh, I only need eight. <laughs> let's, see, let's see if I can get them. You got one? 
So yeah, it's going left. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm having trouble getting it to go left though. There you go. There we go. Let's go this way. Go back. You can go down there. Oh, I was gonna go up, but I guess I can go back. There you go. You got enough to win her heart over now. Okay, I won her. Oh heart. no, you went. <laughs> you went into the spike. <laughs> you have to go up. You well, went after I won her heart, I killed yeah. myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna have to deal with her for the eternity, right? <laughs> cool game, right? Yeah, it's, very, it's very good. It, at first, on this first level, it was remind, reminded me of Pac Man a lot. Yeah, it's got a Pac Man vibe for sure. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, Brother Bill says that the color, being colorblind is kind of like CGA, the, you know, the original PC graphics. Yeah. They're so yeah, bad. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, God, I remember when the first Mac came out. It was any color you wanted, as long as it was black and white. I mean, it was it was really strange. Yeah, you know, black and white screens. I mean, it was the guy. Yes, the the guys uh, at, in uh, in Greece said yes. The, the Greek stick is approved by Amiga Dad. Yes, it is. <laughs> Captain John was cheering you on. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. What do we what do we play next? Um, you know, you know what I want to show you? I want to show you Tiger Claw because, like, I used to play a lot of Bruce Lee. It's one of my favorite games of all time on my Atari 800. And Tiger Claw is the spiritual successor. So I'll show you a little Tiger Claw. Well, you loved Bruce Lee. I love Bruce Lee. His movies when you were a kid. I love. I loved the movies and the game. Yeah, yeah. But I guess you you knew the movies first before yeah. you knew the game. Yep. And uh, I used to preview the movies before we showed them to you because some of them were like. PG, some of them were PG-13, but some of his movies were R-rated with good reason. I mean, they were pretty violent. I remember the one with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Oh, uh, yeah. Enter the Dragon, I think it's called. I think it was. Yeah. I think it was. So I, actually, what, one, of the, one of the first games I'm going to play when I hook up the uh, that awesome device that Bill gave me is, is Bruce Lee. I'm sure he put Bruce Lee on there for, it, for me. Um... I got. I gotta get my my things organized a little bit better. <laughs> Make it prettier. Here's Tiger Claw. So you'll notice right away. It's, uh, and it's um, Laughing Cow is the guy that that yeah Lazy Cow made well, it. Lazy Cow. And, and Laughing Cow yeah, the cheese. The cheese. Yeah. <laughs> but La Lazy Cow is is based on that cow that in the first screen of uh, of the game. Okay. See, it doesn't look. Yo, Phenotype82 says Amiga, thank you for the subscription, my man. See, there's um, the sitting boot up there. Remember, like, the cow in the original Bruce Lee game? Doesn't it look like the original Bruce Lee? Yeah, yeah, it does. You know, I need to play this game more. This is a cool game. Even the... Uh, what was that? That's my phone. Oh. I got something on my phone. You know. Yo, Dead Allows 2097, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that very, very much. Sorry if I, I misspelled your name. Today, guys, if you're just joining the stream and you're new to it, uh, today is a little bit different. It's a different kind of stream. Uh, today I've got my show on the road. Uh, it was Father's Day here in the United States on Sunday. So I came over to my dad's house uh, where I first started playing my, my Amiga games back in the day just to hang out. And I wanted to show him some of the new games that are, that are out for the Amiga. Now, if you've if you've followed my streams in the past, you've probably seen me play some of these already, but uh, but Dad hasn't seen them. Although you do follow me, and I think you're you're a subscriber of mine now too, Dad. You you subscribe with that that crispy Twitch Prime sub. No. Oh. Remember the Ninja guy? I like this music. The music's awesome. Yeah. The Greek stick is still doing a great job here on Tiger Claw. Oh, Fishbot says Bruce. He likes Bruce Lee quotes. He was a very clever guy. Bruce Lee, yeah, it's a shame. Like, oh, he what died. happened to him? Yeah. He died way too Amiga much. Love says you have to you have to flow like water. Be like water, my friend. <laughs> 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 oh man, water can flow or it can crash. Wolf Dawn says. <laughs> yeah, you can be going upstream or downstream. <laughs> it depends. Um, Vincent Gr says you should fire up the old Atari and play Bruce Lee. That's that's on my to do list, Vincent Gr. Uh, I don't know if you saw it. Oh, here's the first boss. The flaming fists. I'm kicking. I kicked his butt. Nice. Um, I got this really cool device here from my friend Bill. Uh, he 3D printed it, and it's actually an Arduino. It's kind of like a GoTech, except it's for Atari 800s. 
So he's got a micro SD card in there, like loaded up with like every Atari 800 game ever. <laughs> so I'm super psyched to try this out. And he did really, he 3D printed the case. It looks and it matches the 800 XL. It's really cool. It's hard to believe what they're doing with that 3D printer stuff. Hey, what's up, the Mollusk? How's it going, my man? You know, talking about Bruce Lee. Last night they had on TV the uh, one of your first Steven Seagal movies, Marked for Death. <laughs> he goes around looking for Richie. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my Where's God. Where's Richie? Richie? Where is Richie? And he, and he beats up everybody on, in New York City. <laughs> I remember that. Trying to find them. Oh, it was so great. Seagal. You know, Robert Rodriguez is one of my favorite directors, uh, movie directors. And he said the uh, the only scary person he's ever met in his life that really scares him is Steven Seagal. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> my buddy uh, Wilson was playing a game last night. Uh, it's called Trials Rising, and people make their own courses yeah. on Trials Rising. And someone made a, a Sin City course. <laughs> I love Sin City. Yeah, great movie. Wait, Robert Rodriguez has got, what's his new movie that just came out? It's supposed to be awesome. I don't know, I didn't even know that. Yeah, he's got a brand new one out. It's supposed to be really good. Um, I can't, oh, we gotta look it up now. He's always pushing the envelope on technology, Robert Rodriguez. Another reason I like him. Um, he does a lot of, you know, blue screen stuff or green screen stuff and 3D stuff. And... Um, yeah, Vince suggested US love Nintendo. They couldn't stand the loading times. And that's actually one of the reasons why you got me the Atari 800 instead of the Commodore 64. Because the original Commodore 64 used to take forever to load the games. And we're like, oh, let's get the 800. It loads so much faster. <laughs> well, I can remember a few cassettes in, in that Atari 800. You put the cassette in, you go away for 10 minutes. That was brutal. 30, I think one of the games took like 30 minutes to load. <laughs> I mean, but also, I think the Ataris, um, I think they suffered, like their cassette drop was the worst. Yeah. So they, they had like the, uh, the, the cartridges, which were super fast, and the floppies loaded fast. But the cassettes yeah. were brutal. Well, brutal. Um, you had the Polish translator on cassette. <laughs> Yeah, um, Ninja Jams, you know it, Fishbot. Um, there were also no good software houses in the 80s there. A lot of stuff came from overseas, Vincent. Um, yeah, Sin Lao, this, this game is uh, originally a Commodore 64 game. And you can even play this Amiga version with the 64 graphics. And then they ported it to Amiga. So yes, you are, you are on point there, my man. It is very, very Commodore 64 vibes here. I love the Commodore 64 too, though. I mean, there's so many classic games for it. Evil. Oh, the dog got me up there? I didn't think he could reach me. Rascal. Hey, I can't go. I thought I could go down there. I can't go down. <laughs> oh, great. You're kind no. of trapped. Yeah, I'm trapped. What? Oh, there we go. I couldn't go down. I was just hitting it wrong. But this is pretty neat. I love this game. I need to spend a lot more time in this game. I'm just, I just loving at the package so much. I got, I spent, I have to spend more time playing the game and less time looking at the package. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna get hectic down here. I got three guys to take out. Oh, he just, he just, oh, he just owned me, man. He just punched me in the face. I can't, I came down there and he's just like, what are you doing here? Here's my fist. I gotta take on three guys, man. This is hard. I, I, I think it's almost time for a drink. What do you think? Um, very dry. Yeah. Do you want to get some? Do you want a water? What do you want? I don't know. Just a glass of water. A glass of water. I guess I'm gonna get my dad a glass of water, and then um, we'll play like another game. Then maybe we'll do. What time is it? Four. Okay. It's five, almost five o'clock. Yeah, it's two hours. Yeah. Before. So um, we'll have a drink, and then maybe we'll play another game, or we'll just start doing the tour. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, the, gonna, I'm gonna have a different do type the of drink. Tour before your mother gets home. Oh yeah. My mom. <laughs> My mom, my mom is not happy with the base, the, the basement. <laughs> well, it's, the, it's basically the same way it was since 1971 when we moved here. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing much has changed, and uh, she's anxious to update it, to say the least. Yeah. So if she thinks that we're showing the world this basement, oh boy. <laughs> we are literally going to show the world the basement. The Moloch, um, the Moloch said, I feel like we missed out on a lot of cool stuff with Amiga not being 
terribly prevalent in the USA. We, we probably did, but you know, we had the video toaster, which was cool. I think for us in the USA, the Amiga was more of a video machine. Absolutely. Video like a music machine uh, versus a game machine like it was in Europe. I mean, it was yep. a game machine here too, yeah. but I feel like, like, the, like the killer things for the Amiga, the killer apps weren't games, they were apps. They were video toaster, they were deluxe paint. You know, that, yeah, that's what was popular. The paint program, the, and especially the toaster when that came out. And they didn't have the toaster in Europe because the toaster was NTSC only. Oh, I because know. yeah, and that's one of the reasons why they chose the Amiga because the timing signals inside the Amiga were very close to the NTSC video signal, and that's why the, the new tech chose Amiga to put it in there. They never came out with a PAL version. No glitches when you cut between cameras. Yeah, you need the time base corrector. Yeah. Steven Seagal, you know it, you know it, Captain. <laughs> um, oh yeah, yeah. Mollusk says competing with Nintendo and Sega's rivalry was tough. It was, yeah. and Nintendo and Sega would go at it too. Yeah. Sega was always kind of like second fiddle to Nintendo here. Um, Fishbot says Seagal was cool in the 80s. His movies are a bit dodgy now. <laughs> well, I know, but that's what makes them fun. Yeah. <laughs> the Mollusk said he would be scared Where's of Stephen Seagal, too. The Mollusk said he would be scared of Stephen Seagal, too. I think, he, I think he's gone off the rails a little bit lately, too. I, I've seen him post some like, wacky stuff on Twitter. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I think he might have lost it a little bit. Or maybe, or maybe now he's, he can just communicate easier. Oh, or maybe too many kicks to the head over the years. I loved his movies though. They they were always fun. Oh yeah, uh, rule of third says you can see the difference uh, in the in the, uh, the in the the Amiga by looking at the British magazines and the U.S. magazines. Yeah. Um, the U.K. ones were game oriented. Um, that makes sense. Like I was just saying, I think yeah. games were bigger in Europe than here. Here it was it was really the uh, the stuff you could do with the Amiga as opposed to the games you could play. Yeah. But he says now we can uh, we can all live the Amiga stuff that we missed out yeah, on back then. It's yeah. true. Yo, oh, Dead Louse. There, I said Dead Louse already, and I, uh, da da Data Louse. Data Louse. <laughs> That's weird. So, right I, I think my, my notification over there came late. It came, or, or that one, I'm just way behind on the chat. Um, well, that screen you're reading off of is microscopic. Yeah, anyway. it is. Vincent, yeah, Vincent says um, the, the U.S. preferred Japanese games. Japanese games were big here, for sure. We we we, had, we were into the Japanese culture a lot in the 80s with Voltron and Transformers oh, and all yeah, the, the anime yeah. stuff. <laughs> oh my God, it's almost 5 p.m. <laughs> um, oh yeah, that is uh, that that's a good point, Captain John. Um, so these guys are super cool. Like this game is very inexpensive to buy. I think it's like. It's only like three bucks, but you can like give as much as you want for the, you know, that's the mm -hmm. digital version. And then I don't know how much the physical edition is, but it's like 10 or 15 bucks. Mm -hmm. um, but the guys are so cool. Um, there's this service that we we're talking about before, Amiga Live, that lets you play online multiplayer Amiga games. And they made a special version of this game that's like a, it's like a, kind of like a battle royale. And they made it just for Amiga Live. So, you know, you don't have to buy the game. You can mm -hmm. still play like this, this deathmatch version of the game on Amiga Live. So it's, it's very, very cool that they did that. <laughs> Captain John says your dad rocks. What a great man. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Captain. Captain John is uh, the captain of the original Starship Enterprise. Yeah. Was Scott Bakula played him, I think? No, it wasn't no, Scott Bakula. It was, um, oh, I've forgotten his name. I, I can see him in my in my. Yeah, face. me too. Pike was the name he played on the show. James, was it James Pike? I don't remember. But they took that original pilot and they re-edited it into a, you know, a Star Trek with uh, William Shatner. Oh. Oh, it's, it's uh, Daedalus. 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 There we go. Daedalus. Daedalus. 29.7. All right, so you want some water, Dad, or uh, soda? Yeah. I'm going to uh, get... Actually, we're going to have to sign off soon, so maybe we should... Uh... I'm going to have a beer. I'll tell you that much. Okay, go, ahead, go get one. I'll keep the music on, and you can... Uh... It's nope. gonna it's gonna be hard for my dad to read the chat because it's so small over here on this laptop. Oh, it's but even worse on this computer. Yeah. <laughs> even <laughs> even with this. Oh, there. Yeah, Scott Bakula played Captain John Archer, which is set 100 years before ah, Captain Kirk. Ah, Scott Bakula. That's who it was. Oh yeah, your dad means uh, Jeffrey Hunter as Captain Pike. That's it, Jeffrey Hunter. That's what I was saying. Look at this. I got my magnifying glass. Will that work on the chat? Can you see? Can you see it up there? Uh, it's still pretty small. It's pretty pretty small yeah <laughs> it was really small I can I, I can make it bigger over here it's just how about it. I go get you a beer 
No, I got it. I'll, I'll do it real quick. Oh, that's that's funny. That's also, also a space station orbiting Mercury. They're talking about uh, Daedalus's name and the origins of it. Yeah. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go grab a beer and a, you want soda or water, Dad? No, just get a beer for yourself. I'm good. You sure? Yep. Come on, you gotta drink something. We have all the necessities down here. All the audio equipment. Which is, I think it's time to do the tour. Yeah, I, you can't see it. Well, you're going to see it in a second. The video equipment that's in the front here. This is where we always had our computers. And, of course, the most important thing, where Billy is now, it's the refrigerator, which is well-stocked with, with all <laughs> kinds of brews. <laughs> Uh-oh, not as well-stocked. I, I must have been here frequently. Not as well-stocked as it has been in the past. Uh-oh, well, you're the stocker of, that, of the brew box over there. you got to... Uh, I got one here. I picked out a good one. you got to shape up. <laughs> this is a funny. This is a funny one. This this stream is is family friendly, um, but th this name is borderline not family friendly. Oh, it's um it's Founders Brewery, and the uh, the name oh. of the beer is a Dirty Bastard. Oh, <laughs> okay. that's a nice name to have for a brew. Dirty Bastard, excellent. I'm I'm about to drink this. Um, <laughs> Hidden fridge in the back, exactly. So yeah, cheers guys. Thanks to everyone for hanging out today. Dad, you need to drink something. Let me, do you want a, a bubbly, a fizzy water, or? You gotta yeah, drink something. Yeah, you want a bubbly? Yeah, give me a bubbly. All right. He's not talking about what the drink does. That's actually the name of it. It's called bubbly. And Billy discovered it. I don't remember when he discovered it. A couple of years ago. It's just uh, like a lemon lime flavored It's like a, it's a lime flavored club soda. Yeah, yeah, like a club soda, I guess. There you go. Thank you. This is it. Well, I'm hooked on the chair there. Almost uh -oh. pulled my mic off. Uh oh. All right, we're good. All right, so Bubbly. Yeah. Cheers, Dad. Happy Father's Day. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for all Any the more? Amiga goodness throughout the years. Yep. Thanks everyone for tuning in today and watching. It's been super fun. <laughs> we say Nostrovia in Polish, right? We certainly do. <laughs> Cheers in English. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, Captain John, um, I've, I've got the wireless mics today, <laughs> which you have to be very, very careful of. Yep. Because sometimes you wander into places where there shouldn't be any sounds. Yeah, like the bathroom. Oh, nice. Mr. Cola said Founders is from Michigan. He lives an hour away from the brewery. Ah. Sweet. Nice one, Mr. Cola. The Moll says Arrogant Bastard is a good one, too. Yeah, Arrogant Bastard, I think, is from California. I think it's from Stone Brewing Company. That's really good. Um, cheers, everyone. <laughs> well, if, you're, if you're into beers, there's never been more to try out there than, uh, than there are now. I mean, all it's these amazing. independent breweries. All, I mean, we have Captain Lawrence just a few miles from us. It's here. a great beer. It's a great beer, yeah. Yo, Rule of Thirds just gave 64 bits. He's saying that, um, oh, wait, where'd it go? Um, let me go back here. He's saying that, oh, he loved it so much because the Amiga was the real point of bonding between he and his dad. They did music together on the Amiga. Nice. Yeah, that was awesome. That's really nice. Um, we used to have a music sig in Westchester Amiga User Group. I sure did. And it was awesome. I, I wasn't talented with the music, but I Neither really enjoyed seeing I. other people use it. They used bars Actually. and pipes. Pat and Chris used to use bars and pipes, which was a MIDI sequencer. Bars and pipes was their, was their jam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, test one, two, test. <laughs> Retro Ralph says, I just found out you did Kimmies and Cars Getting Coffee. Uh, he listens to the Retro Hour podcast. Oh, I forgot to tell everyone that. Yeah, guys. Yeah. You know, our friends Dan and Ravi, they have an amazing podcast called The Retro Hour. And everyone who watches my streams probably already knows The Retro Hour. But if you don't, you need to go to theretrohour.com. And uh, Anthony and I were on episode number 175, which was two weeks ago. And I talk about growing up with Amiga and talk about stuff, you know, how my dad supported me with the Amiga and how I met Anthony. And it's a really good episode. They did a great interview. So go to uh, theretrohour.com and uh, check out uh, episode number 175. Check them all out. I mean, they interview like Amiga, they interview like legends, like the guys who designed the computers, guys who the original game designers, they, the guys who started, um, I, I think John Carmack, they interviewed him, like, like super, super legends. And then they have us. <laughs> Maybe they're out of ideas. <laughs> Maybe they're out of guests. <laughs> well, you started to say about comedians in cars getting coffee. You helped set them up on that show. Originally, right? You did the I did the first, first season, yeah. First Jerry came to me and he, he's like, he wanted me to design the show to be shot with all the small GoPro cameras and yep. stuff. So yep. that's what I did. 
Oh, that's okay. Wolf Dawn says you wouldn't want to do a Frank Drebin. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. You're right, Wolf Dawn. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Yeah, happy Father's Day, everyone. Amiga was always about bonding, says DJ Billy Nest. Oh, uh, Vincent used to play Arkanoid in Kickoff with his dad. Oh, uh, Arkanoid is a great yeah. one. I got Arkanoid on here. It's amazing. <laughs> DJ Billy Nest says um, Amiga's mostly for music for him, too. Yeah, he uses Amiga. He makes music with ProTracker and DigiBooster. So that's what we were playing before around the Hippo player up those mod files. It was a little bit different than the MIDI sequencer because the mod files, like the Amiga is actually making the sound, whereas the MIDI sequencer is like the, the MIDI device is using it's the It's driving sounds. them to make the yeah. sound. Yeah. Yo, PT Bio Grims, thank you for the follow. <laughs> I think it's about time to do a tour, Dad. Let, right. let's, um, I'm going to put on some, we'll put some Ace Man back on so they have some background music maybe. Okay. And then we'll do a little tour. Um, let me uh, do the old reboot here. And I'm gonna put on. Speaking of mods, I'll put on put on the hippo player. We'll go back to some Ace Man. Ace Man is a really nice guy. He lets me use all his music for free, so that's why I like to give him the plugs. And he runs this awesome website where you can download mod files. Now I don't really have to switch into PAL mode, um, but I have my hippo player set up for the PAL resolution, so I'm just gonna switch over to PAL mode. Oh, nice. Sanzian says he's almost through all the episodes of Seinfeld on my recommendation. Nice. Jerry is really, it's really cool to work with Jerry. He's a really nice guy. I hope I get to work with him again. And David Letterman's got an, uh, his series is going for season two. Unfortunately, my buddy, the director, didn't direct season two, so I didn't get on season two. <laughs> but well. he, what are you going to do? We had Howard Stern on season one, so that was cool. Hey, you met Howard. You met President Obama. Yeah. You met a couple of great people. Uh, Captain John says his father uh, and him played Commodore 64 games together, yeah, but Amiga yeah. came later. We played uh, Atari 800 was probably what we played together the most, most and then yeah. Amiga we did the vi graphics and video and together. In television we probably and played a lot of in television yeah. too. Um, hard disk drive two, is that where I keep it? No. Yeah, we did in television on the last stream. I just got a new device um, that lets me capture analog video now, so we can do a, a real television stream together. Yeah. Um, where's my hippo? Uh, I'll stick with the Ace Man. Uh, uh, see, I have all these different folders of uh, songs of different artists. We'll go Ace Man all. I, was, I think we left off somewhere down here. And he's on. Yeah, I think he's a little bit loud. I had him at minus 12 dB before. Again, it's tricky because all the songs have slightly different volumes. So. <laughs> Don't you hate when that happens? <laughs> Spielberg is filming in Glasgow just now. Oh, no, I do. I love Spielberg. And Janusz Kaminski, is, his uh, cinematographer, is incredible. Hey, Ham for the Win. That's an awesome name, Ham for the Win. I love that one. <laughs> yeah, you're about to see some CRTs. Um, and Sanzian, the other thing about Seinfeld, Seinfeld is very New York and uh, American culture centric. Oh, yeah. So he, you might not get all the jokes. He's very like, he's very dialed into like New York culture and American culture. So, so you, first you have to understand American culture, but then he gets really specific, like some things that are very New York, he, he hits on. Like the soup Nazi. <laughs> Although I guess there's soup Nazis in every country. <laughs> oh wow, he's making a World War One epic. Oh wow, that is awesome. Spielberg, I mean, he's, um, gonna, have a, he's gonna have a way to go to beat uh, Saving Private yeah, Ryan. Yeah, Saving Private Ryan Ryan's amazing. <laughs> well, Schindler's List too. <laughs> I hope I hope the mix is all right, guys. I'm gonna switch to uh, let's see, we go to here. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna oh, we'll use this one, Dad. I'll leave the chat up there, and then let me. Make sure the liquid beverages are not on the table. Okay. And we'll start. We'll start the tour. We, our microphones are wireless. Uh, you have the the mic in your pocket. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Um, I'm gonna squeeze show us, over here. Show us your skills with your handheld camera. Yeah, my handheld camera. It's time <laughs> to, and that, no image stabilization on this particular uh, lens either. This is old school. This is gonna be. Uh, Roar as it gets. Um, uh, Brother Bill, I'm using Hippo Player to play the mods. And I like it because you can dump all the mods into one folder and it just plays them. It doesn't have to do each individual one. Sanjian says he loves Seinfeld and he gets pretty much all of it. 
It's a great show that I overlooked in the day. Oh, that's awesome that you're like rediscovering them, Sandy, and that's yeah. great. Hippo Player is awesome. I highly recommend it. All right. So I'm going to... Bill's come going on. over to the camera, and uh, you're going to see it move in a second. I got to flip the screen around. Got to be able to see. There we go. And then I am going to uh, lower the volume on the TV. How's the mix, Dad? Listen to the mix. So now I'm talking, and uh, and the music is playing as well. And uh, I hope I hope you can you can hear me okay. And the music's yeah. not. Yep. Sounds competing good. Competing too much. Now I don't know where I put the remote control to the TV. I don't either. Oh, it's here. <laughs> I think we'll leave the Ace Man on while, while we do the tour. The grand tour is about to happen, guys. Uh oh. <laughs> um, oh, that's hilarious. That's hilarious, Malsk. Dolly, if you're watching, I apologize. <laughs> she might be watching. That's, that's Mrs. Winter. I'm going to pull the power out of the camera, but it should switch right over to battery. Let's see if it does. Yep, it switched right over to battery. And you know what I'm going to do, it Dad? Still, I didn't even see a glitch on yeah, the screen. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put it, actually, I'm going to put a card into the camera. Whoops. And uh, so I can record, I can record this onto the camera as well as the stream. So I have an original recording okay. of it. Just a cinematographer is going to get a cord, a cord, a, a, a card. card. <laughs> He's going to plug it into his camera, and then we'll show you a little bit down here. Now, this room started as a family room, um, but we, well, we did use it as a family room, but then it evolved into a game room, and then I set up my stereo equipment, and it became a stereo room, and then I started moving my collection of vinyl in here. So, in fact, it overflowed this room, but I've got quite a bit of vinyl in the back. You'll see it in a second. Plus, I have a closet full of 45 vinyls, the small records with the big hole in the center. A um, lot and a lot of vinyl. Then there's the utility room down the hall that's got a big shelf, twice as big as the one that's in here, filled with vinyl. I have stuff going back to basically the early days of rock and roll. But I have a lot of pop stuff too, you know, pop singers uh, from the 50s and 60s. Oh, there we go. We're getting. I'm the zooming out. Yeah. I'm gonna gently take this off. Sorry, this little. There we go. Okay. Yeah, there All right, we are free. All and right. now we're gonna get a tour of the uh, the basement here. Oh wow, we're over modulating a little bit. I, I didn't know that. Um, I'm gonna take me down a little bit. We're gonna get a tour of the basement here, and um, let me roll. But, you know, we're, we are limited to the length of this HDMI cable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, which is how long? Oh, uh, it's pretty long. We're going to be able to get some distance on it. Uh, it's okay. probably like 12, I think it's a 12 footer. Okay. Um, let's see, let me well, just. Well, right from where you are. Let me you just can... wrangle the cable here. Okay, you I got can... some cable. Right. I'm going to come around. I, I, I do, sorry about the bad camera work here. I just have to go around uh, this C stand that I have the overhead camera on, and then I'll be free. All right, I'm coming around. And sorry, guys, I'm not going to be able to see the chat. So I apologize for that. <laughs> yeah, oh, they want to see your vinyl collection. Oh, Good okay. vinyl is a beautiful thing. We'll get Let's, there in a second. All right, here we go. All right, I, I, I'm regrouped. The HDMI cable's in. The cameras are rolling. Yeah, I can right. open up the exposure a little bit here. There we go. All right, here we come. Well, over here is the old... Well, let me, actually, you're over a little bit, too. Okay. See, now that I'm over here, I can actually like, operate the camera well. Yeah. When the camera's across the room, it's hard. No, it's not yeah. easy. All right, go ahead, Dad. But this is the old stereo system. Some of the old, uh, the old pieces of equipment. Here's the old turntable, which is still up and running. I said, you said you wanted to play some vinyl. Yeah, there. we'll play some. We'll try out my yeah. record. Well, I got everything here: CD recorders, uh, audio cassettes, mini disc. Uh, not too many people even know about that. The amp and the CD player down there. I got a reel-to-reel -reel tape machine and another cassette, the old Tanberg, which still works great. So I love I love the reel to reel. It's just such a beautiful looking machine. It is. It is. So this is kind of my audio area where I do a, make a lot of CDs and make, remember the term mixtapes. You know, I made a lot of them over here. So this is what I do a lot. And then of course right over here, you've got the Lazy Boy recliner. <laughs> yeah. The most important part. The most important part of the room, uh, because that's where I read all my papers. So when people, you know, students write me uh, papers and stuff, that's where I read them all. And then if you want to swing a little bit over towards this way, watch your back. You're gonna. Yep. Just. Uh, I should get a longer HDMI cable. Yep, you should. 
This is some of the vinyl over here. Can you yeah, get I a see shot it. of that? Yeah, I see it. This is the right, while well, there's reel to reel tapes up there, vinyl, some CDs. Um, this is about half the vinyl collection, maybe a little less. There's another shelf this big in the utility room. And you can see all the CDs over there, more vinyl over here. Um, and then if you want to go into the closet here. Of course we do. Okay. Well, here's the closet with all the 45s. These are all the small pieces of vinyl, the 45s. And these go all the way back to basically the front of the house. Let's see if I can sneak in there. Yeah, see, enough slack. I don't know oh, if you're going to make it. Let me get out of here. I don't know if you're going to make it in there, but yeah, it goes in there. We got coats in there and 45. So the 45 yeah. describes the, the RPM of the, of the record, right? How fast it yeah. turns. Yeah. So the, 30, the, the normal size ones, right, are 33 right. RPMs. The, the albums are yeah. over there, and those are uh, 33 RPM. See, I think I can get so. closer here. I've got all, like, this is all the rock male vocals, this is all the rock, uh, rock bands, the groups. Over here is the female vocals, you know, I have, it's all alphabetical, so I pretty much suspect where everything is, unless I misfile the stuff, but it's all done alphabetically. Uh, some of my CD collection, my CDs are of course around the bend over there, a lot of them. You got some here too. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. The CDs everywhere in this house. The CDs yeah. grow in this house like vintage uh, computer <laughs> stuff and Anthony's bunker. <laughs> I got to show you one of my favorite uh, pieces of vinyl. Uh, anybody who knows me knows that the Beach Boys are my favorite band. And I've been collecting their music you know, since the 60s. And right under here, I just got these new books in. These are all on the, the history of the charts. Here in America, we use Billboard magazine. And this is all like the top albums from the rock and roll era. But this is, uh, this is the box set I wanted to show you. This is amazing. You know, most, most album covers, in fact, let me get you the original. That is an awesome box. It's, you know, this this reminds me of like the the box the media games that we right. were looking at before. Well, this is the original, you know, flat one dimensional, two dimensional uh, album cover. But when they came out with the box set, look what they did. They put I don't know if you can see it on camera, but that was a that's actually plastic windows and oh. it's 3D. I so this is around. this is the original. Wait, hold it up like that. Hold it right there. You can kind of tell it on camera. I yeah. have to get a closer shot, but you can definitely tell that the one on our camera right is more 3D. Oh, yeah. That is awesome. Oh, it's, it's amazing. It's just amazing. If you bring it closer to me, I can really get a good shot of it. But I've kind of extended gonna go in, You're going to go into the dark now. So I no, no, I got, I got 3200 ISO on this yeah. bad boy right now. That is pretty sweet. So this is the original vinyl, but then it comes with all kinds of stuff. This whole book. You know about the making of the album smile the legend behind it there's all kinds of stuff here this is uh i'm not even sure what this is oh this is the the cds that came came with it so they're all packaged in here and of course you got the original vinyl then they even gave they even gave you some of the 45s of the singles that came out so this is the 45 like your blue vinyl and your album. Well, this is the 45. Wow, so um, the 45 all times, like the, the 33 would be the entire album. Yeah, and this the is just a song. Be, gotcha. Now in England, they didn't have the big hole like this. They had a regular small hole in the center. Um, but I, I'm not sure if they played at that same 45 speed or not. But this is the whole box set. I mean, they give you the 45s, the album, the book, the 3D cover, some, uh, all the lyrics and this is a book with all the uh, photographs in it. I mean, this is this is a box set that's worth every penny. Oh, and here's the cover again. When did it come out then? It, well, originally it was supposed to come out in the '60s, and uh, it never did. Uh, Brian Wilson never got a chance to finish it, so it, they they released a, a partial album of some of the songs called Smiley Smile, but they never actually released this album in its true intended form. 
until close to 2000 oh, wow. is when the album, or something, maybe the 90s, it finally came out. But this is the poster of the original artwork. That was beautiful. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> and then, of course, it's got the 33 in there as well, right? Yeah, it's got the, vi the actual vinyl album in here. Plus it has the CDs. This is the vinyl album again. Let's see what, how many discs are in here. There's a couple of discs, so I'm not sure why they have a couple of discs. Probably different mixes, but that's the black vinyl compared to the uh, the blue vinyl that you have. Yeah. And is it how thick is that vinyl? Is it the? Oh, this is much thinner, but it's 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 not the heavy duty 180. This is uh, a lot less than that. But they never, they never actually released this when it was supposed to come out. It was amazing. He was working on it, supposedly, this is right after Good Vibrations came out, which was their biggest hit song up to that point. And uh, Brian was also uh, very under the influence of many kinds of drugs at that point. So he never finished, he never finished creating it. And then there's a rumor that he was doing one of the songs and he actually had um, fire going on in the in the studio, and then there was a big fire down the street with real a building really burning. And wow! He got freaked out by that, and he wouldn't release it. I don't know the whole story behind it, but uh, it was uh, it was a saga that that didn't get completed for like 30 or 40 years after he started it. The the album finally come out. Wow! And that's it right there. That's, that's the awesome. Album. Yeah. So, I got I want to listen to it now. Ah, well, I have it on CD and I have it on So wait, vinyl. so that came with the vinyl and the CD as well? Well, everything that you see here is in this box set. But when they released it, it was in the CD era. So they released a vinyl of, the, of this album. I mean, a CD of this album first. That's how it first came out. Gotcha. And then I'm not sure if they ever released a vinyl uh, of it. Well, they even have the... Uh, Get this out, it must be stuck. Well, it's stuck in there, it's like vacuum sealed yeah, in there. Yeah, it is. Sometimes the air pressure gets stuck. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if this actually comes out. This is the this is the back of what the original album was going to be. And then this is the 3D front. So that actually doesn't come out. Oh, I got I'm just you. realizing it now. This is this is what would have come out in the 60s. 68, I guess it was, 67, 68, when Good Vibrations came out. And this was supposed to be what it was going to be, but it never did. So I love this box set just because how many companies release things like this, you know. But this reminded me of what you were showing before with the uh, Kung Fu uh, game. Yeah, uh, Tiger Claw. Uh, Tiger Claw. We got to get you some Beach Boy mods. I'm sure that someone's made some Beach Boy's mod files on the Amiga. I guess. Oh, and here's uh, the only other woman... Mrs. Winters will uh, admit, allow me to admit my love for, and uh, she's right there. Her name is Ronnie Spector uh, of the Ronettes. Uh, she was like the first rock and roll sex kitten, you know, way before Madonna and everybody. Nowadays, of course, it's all over the place. But back then, uh, she had this unique voice, and these are her two cousins, and they sang as a group called the Ronettes. Phil Spector's wife, is that why her name is? Yeah, he Spector? became Phil, yeah. yeah, she became Phil Spector's wife. He produced all her music and a lot of other great music too, so that's why that's out there. We so. should do a whole stream just on your record collection. Oh but, yeah. Uh, we have a few other things we need to show the folks though. I see oh, there's yeah? some I think some laser discs. Over oh here. laser discs. And we got the amigos, we gotta show them the amigos too. Okay. Well here's the ama if you're where you are now, this whole thing here are all laser discs. Some of you people watching this might not even know what a laser disc is. Oh, I think they know. They're pretty. Do they? All right, the X Files. <laughs> well, when you take the laser disc out, there it is. It's awesome. Same size as regular vinyl. Um, pretty much, it was an hour on the side. So if you were watching a two-hour movie in the middle of the movie, you had to stop and turn the laser disc over. Good for a pee break. Yeah. <laughs> they eventually figured out. Um, how to get it to play double-sided, but... Well, I think that they put two lasers in, in the 
actually just players. That's that why what those they were did? so expensive. Well, and they had two different versions. They had CLV, constant linear velocity, and CAV, constant angular velocity. Yeah, there were a couple of different companies. And one, yeah, and the one, that the, the CAV let you like pause, but it only had 30 minutes on the side because each each um, rotation was one frame. So it allowed you to, to pause it. But when they squeeze an hour onto it, then um, you couldn't pause it unless you had a digital pause. Okay. Now, probably our most precious of the laser disc is this one. Up here because it, sure it doesn't fit down there, but this it's is too big. big to handle the Star Wars. Oh, this is big. <laughs> Anthony and I used this disc in one of our uh, Guru Meditation videos. Did you? Let me just get over here because it's kind of heavy. But this is the original Star Wars trilogy. The, the original one. Yeah, the ultimate collection before George Lucas started screwing around and adding stuff and changing some of the computer graphics and all that. So this is the movies as they originally came out. And they're all in here, along with a book, a big book. We got a book in it's there. It's huge. Yeah, I mean, yeah. This, this is quite the collection. That's, that's an yeah. awesome book. I remember that one. Yeah, each one is, uh, you know, the three different movies, Empire, Je Return of the Jedi, and the original Star Wars. And, and that's before any of the CG graphics were added. And that, right. to this day, I think it's still the best quality you can see the original Star Wars in, because I don't believe the original movies were ever released on DVD. And Only the remastered ones. I didn't show it to you, but over there in the audio rack, we do have a laser disc player that's... Well, it's not hooked up yet. we got to get around to yeah, doing that, Yeah, that's part of my Father's Day job. <laughs> I got <do. laughs> But it's there, and it, put, and it still works. And I have one in my classroom at uh, school, so I show my students laser discs all the time, and they're amazed by the quality, although the quality by today's standards... You know, isn't like it was back then, but for that time, it was great quality. It was so much better than VHS. Oh my so God! Oh, you can't even compare. No, can't even compare. I, I see the Jaws. That looks good. I got uh, some really well, good. Well, you stuff got a there. lot of good stuff. I don't know what. There's, oh, Jaws. There's, there's Jaws. Speaking of Steven Spielberg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's the uh, laser disc collection. A um, couple of companies were into really reproducing everything at the highest possible quality. Criterion. So, so the, the Criterion collections. This one isn't the Criterion, but, and I'm not sure what's in here. Poster. Six laser discs? They're numbered. Oh my goodness. There's more than six. <laughs> I'm not sure why or what's in there. Lots of behind the scenes. The laser discs were the first ones where they had well, we call them DVD extras, but they had laser disc extras back then. Oh yeah, all that's the behind right. the scenes stuff, you know, extra soundtrack stuff, all and, that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, and then we got to check out the Amigas, of course. So let me see. Yeah. You know what, Dad? Can I hand the camera to you so yeah. I can like run the cable? Yep. Sorry, guys, if I'm behind on the chat, it's just because uh, it's a little tricky here. Now, Dad, if you just put your hand on the bottom. Yep, you got it. I Perfect. Got it. All right, cool. Uh, sorry, guys, if anyone is. Um, Sorry if I'm behind on the chat, guys. I can't see the chat because I'm on the other side of the room right now. <laughs> Some of my CD collection there. All right, over I'll, here. I'll take the camera. That's, that's my stomach, <laughs> which is getting bigger by uh, every beer I drink. Um, all right, let me just wrangle the cable here. And all right, we are. Okay, we're good. We are totally good. So yeah, this this is this is like my area here. This is, you know, this is like where that. Well, this is a PC area too. I got two old. PCs here which are still functioning and then of course here's your Amiga area yeah we got um, you can talk about these we got two Amiga 1000s here um, these are because Anthony and I did the J minor tribute at Vintage Computer Festival East this year so I had these these 1000s are still here from that Dad, can you move that that cart in the middle there's a uh, this yeah move that out of the way now you can see them better um, so yeah I've got two 1000s set up here and uh, it was for our J minor tribute, and then sometimes I set up my 500 here as well. Now the 500, the 500 used to be right behind you, and the 2000 would be would be right here where the yeah. silver monitor is. That's where I had my Amiga 2000, right there where that silver monitor is, and now it's a DVD player there next to the Tasmanian Devil, and that's where <laughs> that's where the 2000 was uh, in the game sig when Anthony spilled the coffee on it. <laughs> and uh, but you know for the, for our game sigs, I take away the, that PC stuff, and we just go we go. Litter yeah. this place with Amigas. That's my old dubbing central now. When I have stuff on VHS, there's a whole pile of tapes on the floor there. Uh, when I'm trying to dub them to DVD so then I can digitize them from the DVD, that's where I do that. Nice. But that's a lifetime project. You know, that'll take me till I'm dead to, <laughs> to, finish, uh, to finish doing that. 
<laughs> but it's awesome to have these Amigas set up and you know have the real CRTs because it's uh, the L the new LCDs are really nice. Um, but there's nothing like using it with the CRT. It brings back the nostalgic experience. There's no latency, there's no lag. You know, it's just I, I love the CRT. Oh, what do you got here? Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> Big show here in America. I don't know if it's popular over there or not, or any other place, but this is O-Scale electric train set that mom got me. So it's got Thomas the Tank Engine. It's got a wireless remote. You can walk around and run the train from anywhere. You know, it's, I haven't even set this up yet to try it out. One of the projects I have this summer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, there's plenty of projects down here. Oh, a lot of projects. All of them in various stages of completion, none of which will probably ever get completed. <laughs> well, a few of them do. We'll never say never. No, no. And this is just scratching the surface of what you got going on down here. You know, there's, like I said, there's like stuff spawning and growing down here every time I come over <laughs> something new. You know, the one thing that we didn't see is uh, we didn't see the three quarter inch deck. That was kind of. Oh, that's, that's back over Yeah, let's the go audio back over there. We'll check out the three quarter inch and then I can put the camera back on the tripod and we, okay. could, we could sign off. But okay. I, need you, I need your help again. Can you? Okay. Yep. Put this here. Boom, hold that. Nice. I got it. I'm going to come around this way. <laughs> I have no idea what this is aimed at right now. Right now, it's just aimed at the saloon sign. Oh, oh They said Thomas was big in the in the UK, too. Was it? Yeah. Right. It still is it still here. It still is, yeah. Um, Santi Dark G, my man, what's up, dude? Santi is my buddy from California, and I met him last time I was out there. Um, okay. Really, really awesome dude. Yeah, Miles. Yeah, Anthony, Anthony spilled uh, spilled coffee on my Amiga 2000 keyboard. He'll never he'll never live that down. <laughs> Sexy CRT. Sorry guys, I'm like way behind on the on the chat. Um, but I it's just because I'm hand holding the camera over there. Um, let me come back around. I, I I've worked up a sweat here, Dad. <laughs> hold on. While, while you've got the camera, let me grab a swig of my beer and then I'll come back around. <laughs> See, this is this is my personal I, this is my personal favorite piece of gear here. I love the dough quarter, open reel. Oh, it's great. Mm -hmm. I recorded a lot of stuff in the day on reel to reel. And I got a whole reel to reel collection. Um, I don't use it too much anymore, uh, just because I'm lazy. Oh, I got to hand it over to me. Yep. Okay, hand it over. Navigating the basement here, guys, is, is a challenge too. There's like wires everywhere. I'm trying not to let anything get disconnected so you guys don't get cut off. <laughs> oh man. Santi, it's great to see you, my man. It's great to see everyone. Um, so here, here's the audio rack. Now I've got a little more slack than I did before, uh, which is great. Um, yeah, so I love this right here. This open reel is just so cool. It's been in some of my student films when I was in film school because it just looks awesome. And it sounds awesome too. Oh, it does. Sounds great. And then you got your cassette deck up there too. Yeah, this is my original Tamburg cassette deck and this is my newer Marantz one, but um, still works great. And I still use it, believe it or not, every now and then. I have so much stuff on cassette and reel to reel that I haven't dubbed off to digital yet because like I said, it would be a lifetime trying to do it. And then down here, This is pretty awesome. This is pretty cool. This is one of my favorite memories hidden, down here. Hidden away underneath. I can get oh, the, you know the wood, the faux wood has bent. Oh, okay. Well, you can see half of it. And you there got it. it. You got it. There it is. This is a three-quarter inch U-matic machine. I can't pull it out. There, there you go. You got it. Like Zach, is. Zach Wellington will love this, and so will Terry. <laughs> There's the uh, three-quarter inch U-matic uh, machine. One of the first units you could buy for the home. This predates VHS. And it, it uh, probably ran in the four to five thousand dollar range at that point wow. when it first came out. Yeah, and it uses these gigantic cassettes, which you can see underneath. This is uh, one of the cassettes, and most of this stuff edited goofy. All right, this is all Disney stuff. What? You all right? Yeah, I'm just getting. I can't bend down too. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, these are all Billy's cassettes that are down here. Yeah, now and I used to put labels on them with pictures, Sesame Street. Because I didn't know how to read yet. No. I didn't know how to read, but I knew how to load the three-quarter inch. So yes, if you, you look, did. If you look closely, I can get it here, Dad. You can see Bert and Ernie Christmas. There you go. So I, I just knew that okay, if I want to watch Bert and Ernie Christmas, I would pop that cassette in. That's right. But I didn't know how to read Bert and Ernie in English. No, yet. no. So I guess I was like what three years old or yeah, something like that. Yeah, something like that. 
So this was a 1970s, and if you look, don't bend down that, I'll clean that up after the stream. Okay. But you can also look closely, you can see all the awesome wood paneling down here, <laughs> which was stereotypical of uh, <laughs> the, the 60s and 70s in the United States. And also the reason why the Atari 2600 VCS also had wood paneling on it, nice. because they wanted it to, you know, to blend in with, uh, with living rooms in the United States. Um, so our friend Eddie gave me this right against the wood panel. Oh, yeah. It's a, ch it's it's a, a train, train with scotch in it. With, with, with a scotch bottle that, on the top. That is my kind of train. <laughs> that is my kind of train right there. <laughs> so it doesn't get any better than that. Life is good. Nostrovia. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's a pretty awesome tour, Dad. Um, okay. Do you want to, uh, I guess we should sign off. Do you want to put the uh, Another World album on? If you or, want me to. Yeah, let's see if, let me see if I can, let me put the camera down for a second. Huh? Uh, Just well, stay there, I'll get it. Uh, no, no, I got that. Just put your hand on the camera. Sorry for the bad shot, guys. I'll, I'll print it up like that. There you go. Sorry for the bad shot. We are going to, we're going to take the uh, Another World album and put it on the record player. I'm going to, uh, to pot down the Ace Man. Ace Man, thank you for your services, sir. I can, let me see, I can go to him. get a webcam here. I'm going to turn off the Ace Man. Thank you for all the awesome tunes. And uh, so let me go to overhead cam here. So guys, we're, um, we're gonna, I've got this Another World record, which I've been showing uh, throughout the stream. Uh, it is Another World, it's a classic Amiga game, which I thought we were gonna play today, but you know, as, as always, these things take longer than usual. And I want to show you the new Amiga games, which is cool. And we've got uh, blue vinyl. So we're, being that we have a record player here, I think it's time to, uh, to fire the sucker up and, and give it a listen. <laughs> Uh, Stars Whip 78, nice gear. I love the classic stuff. Nice. Yes, uh, Jean Francois Fritas, you know it, Fishbot. Yo, Pot Monkeys, thank you for subscription, my man. The Scotch Train, you know it, Captain John. Pot Monkeys, thank you so much for the subscription. I appreciate it very much. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna, so that does, does the record player, is it hooked up? Have it's I hooked, hooked up. It's, it's hooked up. Go. Awesome. So we can turn it up. It, so I don't know, you guys are just gonna hear the sounds through the speakers, which is not, not great, but it's okay. Um, let's, uh, you can put the, put the camera down okay. and I'll give you the record and I'll walk over. Someone's calling. Oh, it's uh, that, mom. That's, that's my she mom. She heard about the tour. Yeah, my <laughs> mom is watching and she's very upset. <laughs> my mom is, even though we love, we love this place, mom is a little bit embarrassed by it. <laughs> let me switch, hold on, let me switch over. Wait on, hold on there, dad. Okay. Hold on, uh, webcam. There we go. All right, there we go. Let me, uh. Let's see. Yeah. So, uh, mom's on her way home. Okay. Trouble, trouble's on the way. Yeah, so here's the vinyl. Hold on, Dad. Let me uh, let me get over here. Hold on, Dad. Okay. Let's put. I want to see this beauty. I'm contorting myself into weird places right now. I want to see this beauty on the record player. Oh yeah. Look at that. That is sweet, guys. It is oh, man, it looks awesome on your turntable. That's a Techniques turntable, right? Yep. Oh, yeah, that is a beauty, Dad. It's that funny. is awesome. Turn it up, baby. Now, let me get over here. Gently. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Turn the sound up. Yeah, crank it. Very atmospheric. Uh oh. Well, Anthony's chair just went down. We're good. We're good. Okay. If you sit down by that speaker, we'll be they'll be able to hear it. If I sit down by the speaker. Yeah. Oh, because of my mic. Right. Nice. I'm right in front of the big old elect, uh, rectilinear. rectilinear speakers. Nice size, 15 inch woofer in there. Eight mid range, couple of tweeters. These are great old speakers. Bought these in 1968 and they're still cranking. The vinyl sounds awesome. Nice and clean. Yeah, 
He loves that wooden train. Listen to the sound and look at the beautiful train. <laughs> That's awesome, Dad. <laughs> Sweet. That looks awesome. I have to, uh, you're gonna have to come take the camera. I can't get a shot of that, guys, because the chair fell on top of my HDMI cable and I need to fix oh, it. Oh, I'll, but I'm, I'm gonna put the camera back down on the tripod and we'll say, say goodbye to everybody. Okay. So if you can just hold the camera here. Just put your hand on that. Got it. I'm gonna pick up this chair. Oh, there we go. Now, now we're free. Somehow, somehow the streaming gods smiled upon us and did not disconnect the HDMI. <laughs> I'm sweating. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back around here. Now, yeah, I can get a good shot of that. Hold on, let me reroute this cable. This is like a minefield, guys. It's, <laughs> uh, there's so much going on here. Let me grab the camera. Got it. Got it. Yeah, you can see this. Oh yeah, this is. I'm so psyched about this. Another world, baby, on vinyl. The big boomer speakers are doing great. That is awesome. Sweet, Dad. I'm gonna put this. You can camera. hear how quiet the vinyl is on that 180 gram vinyl. Yeah. You don't hear much uh, surface noise at all. That is true. It is, it is totally Very silent. Very quiet. All right, I'm gonna put the camera back on the tripod. Okay. We'll have a drink and sign off. Final sign off. <clears throat> I got it. You can let go. And we should sign off just in time before mom gets here. Yeah, but she'll never know. <laughs> I feel like little kids. You gotta finish before mom gets home. <laughs> well, she doesn't mind us doing the stream. She wouldn't mind the tour. <laughs> Mom doesn't know it's good. This is the good stuff here. I'm gonna load the volume down a little bit. It's a good sound. Like I said, it's very atmospheric. Yeah. All right, where'd my beer go? We'll have a beer, we'll sign off. I don't know where it is. I got it. Get us on full screen so they Of course. Can... I just, while I was moving the camera, I wanted oh. to go smaller. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right, awesome. The, the Witch Project. What's up, guys? All right, let me see if... I, I'm just going to look at the mentions really quick. Sorry, guys, if I fell behind on chat. I couldn't, like... Um, couldn't do everything. I, I, yeah, I couldn't read. I, I need to get, like... I know I need to get, like, Google Glasses so I can see the chat in my glasses. Um, <laughs> oh, man. Who would ever thought we could listen to our game tunes on high-quality vinyl? Exactly. Yeah, Five Star Draw, there was another... There is another world soundtrack on, uh, on vinyl. It exists. If you go to... Um, let me grab it. If you go to um, blackscreenrecords.com, B L A C K S C R E E N R E C O R D S.com, it's amazing, right? Let me just see uh, 180 grams all day, you know it. <laughs> um, let me just see if, I'm, guys, I'm just going to scan through the chat really quick and see if anyone mentioned me. You loved it. Oh, five card. Yeah, it is, it's a new one. Um, I'm going to see who mentioned me really quick. Yeah, that's a speaker, DJ Billy Ness says. That's a serious speaker. <laughs> wow, this sounds really good. These old speakers. Anthony says the speakers are the same age as him. <laughs> <laughs> old! <laughs> 10 minute retrocast, what's up, buddy? Yeah, this is a great, it's a great man cave. Thank you, Captain John, love the stream. And so rule of thirds, thank you guys. John Haynes, how's it going, dude? Oh, John Haynes posted a link uh, all about your rectilinear speakers. Oh, we'll, really? to, we'll click on that and check it out. Thanks, Santi, I'm so glad you guys are liking the stream. Um, in the 80s, you could see Van Halen live. Get home and play some Commodore 64, oh yeah. <laughs> Um, Rectilinear was in the Bronx. That's where their headquarters was. Were they really? Yeah, they were made. These speakers were made in the Bronx. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Best stream ever. Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you, DJ Billy Nest. Um, Amiga Love says they put a smile on his face today. Makes him think he should give his dad a call. Yeah, you totally should, my man, Amiga Love. Um, 
Nice, dude. The mollusk is putting faces with the names and places with stories today. Nice, dude. Ham for the win. Awesome stream. Thanks, guys. Ham. Ham mode. 4,000 nicest colors, baby. Stewie's is great stream. Awesome time. Rule of Thirds, great stream. Amiga DJ says the Amiga Bill Witch Project. <laughs> <laughs> Scene Cat, what's up, brother? Scene Cat is an awesome dude uh, who I met. He, does, he, he gave me all these mod files that we we're listening to. Okay. What's up, Scene Cat? Great to see you, my man. Yeah, Mayhem is older than the Amiga. Most of us are, though. <laughs> Well, no, we're good. We're, the stream, the stream is alive and well, guys. Um, the first computer. Seeing cat grooms me with a, an 060 at 80 megahertz. Nice, dude. <laughs> the first computer I had was a slide rule. Oh wow. I never had an abacus, but I still have the slide rule in my desk at school. Slide take, rule is the real deal. I, I take it out every now and then and I show it to people. And they're and like, say, what? You know what this <laughs> is? And they're like, huh? Ah? <laughs> John Haynes said a very nice tour and lovely space of delightful, interesting things there. Awesome stuff. Thanks. Yeah. Andy Amiga's back. What's up, Andy? Um, <laughs> and Anthony says every day we get older as do our Amiga caps. Um, oh, nice dude. Uh, DJ Billy Ness says, "Awesome dad, man cave." Tell Amiga dad, I love the Star Wars laser disc. <laughs> oh man! Come on over, we'll watch them together. Pixels at dawn says, "Retro dad cave." <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ten minute Amiga retro cast says, "You need to start a weekly stream." Oh jeez, <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> oh no. Well, I mean, my dad teaches broadcasting, and that's why I like to do these streams. Yeah. Because, uh, like, you know. Must be in your blood a little bit. Well, you grew up showing, you know, we used to listen to talk radio all the time together. Yeah. And to me, this is like an extension of talk radio. This is talk radio, you know. With in, pictures. With pictures. Yeah. Yeah. And, and not only that, with pictures, but then, like, people who are watching you can also chat yeah. to you. It's, yeah. it's incredible. It blows my mind every time. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, awesome scene, Kat. Thank you for that link, dude. I appreciate that. Awesome. Domaga says, great stream to me and you. Awesome, guys. Well, thank you. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Let me. Um, <laughs> Sanzi says, I guess we're the last cool Amiga generation. Don't know what happened after us. Well, the guys like Captain John Archer are, uh, you know, he's preparing Amiga Sons, you know, and, and uh, Roar's got Amiga Daughters going. So, I, you know, it's not going to die. <laughs> Talk radio without the anger. Vinyl. Exactly, Brother Bill. <laughs> thanks, guys. Let's see. Let's, let me see something here. Uh, Twitch. Let me try something here. Amiga Bill Twitch. Awesome. Um, events. Can I see who I'm following channels? Let me see if any of my friends are streaming and we'll, we'll rate them. But the problem is this computer that I'm, I'm on here, guys, is like so slow. I can't see who's streaming. That's the problem. Um, online friends? No. I can't see. Ugh. Dad, I got to get Alexandra a new... A new Amiga Bill, can I see who I'm following? Let's see. I have to get Alexandra a new uh, computer. I can't see who I'm following. Sorry guys, I'm just looking to see who's streaming. I can't, I can't, I'm, I'm out of my element here. I, my show was on the road. I wasn't ready for, for a raid. <laughs> so like after we're done, like I can send people over to someone else's channel. That's what I'm trying to do, but I can't see, I can't see any of my friends. That's the problem. Let me see if I do this. I'm lowering down the sound because I'm not sure how the mix is without a mixer. Yeah, there's no mixer. It's just microphones, but it sounds cool. Uh, following. There we go. I got it. View all live channels. I want to see if any of my friends are streaming. Uh, are any of my friends on? Unfortunately, none of my friends are streaming right now. All right, well, th th using this computer is just too difficult. <laughs> um, nice. Amiga Deer says, this crappy rainy day is perfect for spending in your dad's basement with all the retro gear. <laughs> um, nice, Santi. Santi's daughter is playing with Amos. So he's keeping, he's keeping the, uh, the Amiga alive. Yeah. Well, I guess that's about it. Yep. That, that was awesome. That was an awesome stream. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Yeah, thanks, Dad, for, for hanging out. I don't know who we can raid. One of my friends seems to be on right now, unfortunately, guys. Sorry about that. Um, 
I tell you what. Okay, so my friends Riot Retro Gaming, they're not they're streaming right now, but they're they just have um <laughs> They have, um, they just, they're just playing a music, Amiga music. Like it's not them, but their Amiga is just playing a music, a, Amiga music. So we'll just, we'll give them a raid, even though they're not there right now. <laughs> but Riot Retro Gaming, they're awesome guys, and they stream every Wednesday. And they, and they also have this 24-hour Amiga radio. So we'll, 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 uh, we'll raid those guys. Okay. But um, yeah, let me go back to the, uh, to the chat. Everyone, thanks, thanks everyone for hanging out. Yeah, <laughs> right, Thank, brother Bill. Thanks for having me. Yeah, Dad, um, awesome. Cheers. Where's your? Uh, uh, you're, you're holding the microphone in your hand. I know. I'm, I'm taking it Cheers. off. Well, I gotta go pee. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm glad you're taking it off before you pee. <laughs> well, everyone, thanks for hanging out today. Hope you enjoyed the tour with uh, with Amiga Dad <laughs> in in the uh, in, in his basement, yeah. the Amiga Dad cave. <laughs> and we got we got to bring you back. We got to get you to play some uh, some some of your new uh, train games as well. Oh yeah, show, show them all. Awesome. <laughs> well, thanks, Dad. Uh, okay. We'll we'll see you soon. And thanks everyone for hanging out today. Uh, I'm not sure when my next stream will be. It'll probably be it'll probably be like a week from today is my guess. Um, but you know, if you want to know when I stream, be sure to follow me on all the social medias. On Twitter, I'm at the Guru Meditate. Facebook.com slash the Guru Meditation. I also got a Discord channel. If you do exclamation mark Discord in the chat, you can join the Discord channel. And I announce all my streams like 24 hours in advance. Next stream, we, I'll be back at home and we'll do Amiga news and all that usual stuff. But this was super cool. <laughs> this was happy this, Father's Day to me. Yeah, happy Father's Day to you. <laughs> and to all you fathers yeah. out yeah. there. <laughs> it's time. It's time to take us to the hot tub, guys. Thanks everyone for hanging out today. It was an absolute pleasure. Captain John, thanks for being the mod with the most, my man. <laughs> Every, you guys all rock. Thank Thanks for hanging out today. I had an absolute blast. Me too. Yep. See you. Uh, see you soon. And uh, Amiga forever. I'll drink to that. Take us to the hot tub. <laughs>